Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are indeed live. Uh, wait a sec. Wait, wait, wait. Where's the sound? Where's the sound? Thank you, Veldak. Oh my god. Mix it up. Hurry up. Come on now. It's taking its sweet time. Alright, what are we doing in ye old A2SE? Um, we're spamming deep space recovery, uh, deep space zone discovery. That's not that big of a deal right now. Um, all right, looks like this is working now. Cool. Should be good. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, um, what... What bottleneck, uh, bottleneck were we pushing last? Oh, it's getting hard to tell. Holy crap, Haunted Hollows is close to Calidus. Uh, pity it doesn't have Nacrotite. That is a big shame. That would have actually been close enough to skip the, uh, the, the anomaly, Poenestra. Um... Yeah, we already marked some of these as as being very good. Dark Flare in particular is ridiculously good for Naquitite. I think we were scanning it. Nope. No, apparently not. 240,000 right next to the center of the map. In this tiny little scrap over here. Verzor, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, maybe I should have come up with some kind of display or something so it's really easy to tell what our current resource bottleneck is. Oh, right, Vulcanite. Um, I need to finish, uh, finished out, uh, finish outposting that properly back at Grenis because we're only getting like half throughput for a while while I update everything. That's as good a task as anything to get all warmed up back into ye old Factorio. Um, but have we brought everything we need? We should already have all the solar panels that we need for Granus. Yes, indeed. Uh, what about... Uh, blue loaders. How many do we have here? Only these 21. Alright, I could just go downstairs and get some. No spaceship console parts, no spaceship ion engines, no spaceship wall. No media defense installations. Something is not right here. What's our autocraft doing? It's trying to make... Oh, it's trying to make loaders and there's only... Four... Yeah, I see the problem here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is why I turn this off and on. I should make a space, um, autocrafter, like a new version of it, that works better. Scobix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, I'd really like to make, I think I already did design an advanced assembly machine version of it. But sadly, we don't have such a thing in space. Uh, for all these general recipes, it's either the 3x3 assembly machine or this gargantuan uh, space manufactory. I guess it would be possible to fit eight of these. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it would not be possible to fit eight of those around a big container. Let's find out. Just got Factorio. Nice, nice. Are we live? We are indeed. Petrie Cottontail, Vin, uh, Vin 24 Mars. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I think the maximum, uh, whatchamacallit, space manufactories that we can fit around 
uh, around a buffer warehouse, at least in a consistent pattern, is probably four. Um, I could be wrong. Because that obviously wouldn't fit. Uh, what if we had just one for input-output for the inserters? Nope. Maybe, maybe we can manage six. Uh, if we use long arms, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's use superior long arms. So maybe something like this. Um, and then we wouldn't be able to fit this here. So it's not going to be a radial pattern. Um, but maybe at the very least... Oh wait, I didn't try this yet. Still pretty sure that's not going to fit. Uh, maybe at the very least we could... get six. Six would make a pretty big difference to some of the recipes getting jammed with the prerequisites. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could put either of these in by one tile. Wait, what? Oh, this is an odd number right here. That's fine, I guess. And then this would go here. Should we go for that, or should I go just ye old design? I'm pretty sure we can't put advanced assembly machines in space. I'll just double check. Uh, I don't have one on me, actually. I I'm, I'm quite sure we can't put advanced assembly machines in space. Yeah, no. So... It's either this, or... I would much prefer to have more machines, to be honest. Uh, a larger number of different recipes that can be active at the same time. But can we fit more than eight? Uh, it doesn't really look like it. This is the same layout that I used on the ground, isn't it? Uh, more or less. Move them in one so that we could fit the fluids there. Which isn't going to work in space because the underground pipes are too short. Let's make a space version of this. Turns out more machines better. Um, especially since we tend to like switch recipe and then when the conditions line up, the space manufacturer just builds the recipes so fast that the bottleneck is the inserters or the bots. Um, and then it gets, and then it finishes what it's doing for that moment and just sits there idle most of the time. I'm thinking a bunch of slower machines might actually be a lot better. Okay. So, like this. And can I steal from myself? Or... Yes, I can, for the crafting combinators. Looks like that's our most modern version. This is the one where I was trying to use the prerequisites, but I ended up deciding they're not really worth the trouble. It's better to just have at least eight... Uh, machines. Okay, so the circuitry. Uh, the circuitry. Um, let's see. 
We've got a request a chest here, set requests, negatives for what's supposed to be allowed in the buffer warehouse. Alternatively, wait, I think we do have a static. Yeah, we do have static requests in here. Okay, so that means we can read from the chest. Uh, I wonder if... Instead of doing a bunch of negatives, we could do positives for what's supposed to be in the chest. And then I don't have to type it in twice. Then we can't read if we're setting it. I'm hoping to come up with a version of this where we don't have to have, like, a whitelist. Um, or at least we, we don't have to, like, go to the trouble of typing this in. But it'll still remove excess objects from the buffer warehouse. Uh, so that we don't eventually overfill it. We don't necessarily have to put... Oh, wait, yes we do. We absolutely do. Um... We, we do necessarily have to put the crafting combinators... Well, okay, I could put them, like, here. And we could have um, active provider chests that they dump resources into when they switch recipe. I much prefer dumping it into the buffer warehouse. That's going to reduce the workload of the bots by quite a lot. Which means... Um, I kind of have to have this layout, right? There might not actually be that much room for... Uh, for improvisation here. Unless... Do some, like, long arms like this. And push this back into the box with a belt or something? I don't like that. Space underground pipe. That's the main problem. If these are all going to have... Let's set it to blue belt so that we've got uh, a sample fluid input. Oh, the crafting combinators are already doing their thing. Okay. Where should the pipes be? We can't reach through the big container. Uh, we can't reach through here. I mean, maybe like that. Doesn't look great. I guess it could be worse, but then we can't go this way as well. Um, how about something like this? That's not great either. That's a lot of pipe for a pretty small job. Can we do better, better than this? Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where do I have my lubricant? It's already up here. We don't really need a big container down this way. But... But, but, but... Oops. I was really hoping to somehow do even more than eight assembly machines for this. But if they're going to use a shared container, and I would really like them to use a shared container, it's not really looking possible. Let's put them as far away as possible and use long arm inserters. And 
then the crafting combinators wouldn't be able to take advantage of the big chest. Let's pretend that's okay for the moment. We'll just push things back there or something. Or drop them in the purple chest. And it looks like we're still not fitting more than eight. Uh, what if we did three per side? No, we can't. No, even if we, like, do it like this. The 6x6 six six is just a little bit too small. Well, it's because these are 3x3 three three is the problem. And it's not like... Well, there is no center here, but it's not like I can... make that reach. Yeah, they just don't fit. Hmm. Hmm. Another thing I could try... Six big ones is pretty good. Maybe I should go with that. Um, but another thing I could try is, like cycling through the different recipes that we're trying to complete. That would be pretty tricky, though. A lot of logic to make it, like, subtract the first four. Because we're not using a memory cell in the first place. There would be a lot of combinators. Hmm. Maybe I should just make this work, but with space stuff. So, like... Pick up... Where are my space assemblies? Back in... Crafting combinators. Actually, set it to set it to this first. And maybe we could just do it like this. Let's call that Plan A. If we try and do something like this. That just doesn't work, does it? Yes, it could be connected like that. There's room for, like, a RoboPort or something here. I think the first design is probably better. Oops. And the rest is basically just a matter of copy-pasting. In fact... Is it possible for me to... Just get rid of everything except for the combinators here. Let's do a filter. Crafting Combinator, Decider, Arithmetic, Constant, and Blacklist. Wait, what are the electric poles for? Nothing, I think. Alright, we'll put them. What are we left with? That might actually be exactly what we need. Except the pipes are in the way. I need to move everything one tile out. Or... 
or what? Let's just remove these pieces of pipe for the moment. It'll be easier than adjusting all the combinators. And then we'll use picker dollies to move these around. Uh, except this one's going to be a little bit different. Lodi pipes, indeed. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is actually a pretty cozy spot to put the combinators. Um... Not as cozy as I thought. Um, oh, the pipes would fit here. Let's let's maybe go with that. Oh, and we can actually. No, we can't. No, we can't. That's where the lubricant is supposed to go. Um, this goes here, this goes here. This is where we put in our initial list of stuff that we're trying to make. Each greater than zero output each. P greater than zero output. Oh, if prerequisites greater than zero, I'll put everything. So these are the prerequisites, presumably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't try to do the loaders until we've got the belts. But we're trying to make something that doesn't need that. So then we just need this, I think. Connected to our list of stuff that we're trying to make. So, like that. Let's give it some power. Looks like we've already got some here. And it looks like it's working. Alright. Right, all right, all right. That looks fairly cozy. Let's give it some speed modules. And I kind of sort of removed the part where we remove anything excess from the buffer warehouse. I wish there was a way to detect if it was full and just remove a bunch of stuff at random out of it or something. There's actually no room around it for more inserters or anything either. So we do need to have... Um, we do need to have requester into active provider. I could maybe do like four of these around the side. Maybe that'd be better. I'm going to set requests on these. And then a little active provider right about here. With just a superior inserter instead of the belt. Might be okay. So we're going to connect. We're going to read contents from the buffer warehouse. We're going to set requests on the blue chest. Um... And that's just going to get dumped straight into the active provider, and then we put a negative constant for anything that is supposed to be in uh, in the buffer warehouse. The downside with this is we have to put it in as a positive here, and then we have to put it in as a negative on the constant combinators. Um, but... This has to be static if we're going to read from it. Read contents. Yeah. So we're, we're requesting the entire contents of this buffer warehouse into the requester. Minus whatever. So 
set filters, uh, set requests from buffer chests. And then a bunch of constant combinators. For stuff that's allowed to be... in the chest. Seems good. That should be it. And what's this for? What? It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Oh, that's coming from the robot network or something. Yeah, 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 we're supposed to check what we've got against what we want. We need to multiply what's in the robot network, uh, each greater than zero, and then each times negative one. And that's actually separate from all of this. Let's snuggle this one in here. And then something like that. Connect to all of our constants. And a robot network right about here. I want to fit the robocots around it as well. Mm. Doesn't really fit too snugly, does it? Pig style, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Zero, welcome in also. Good to see you again. If so, very sexy. Is this a mole design? Yes. Yes, it is. Have you tried Diablo 4? I have not. Played since 2, and it was pretty fun. Hope to get it with friends in June. Hope it works out. Um, yeah, I don't really see a spot to, like, snuggle in the robo ports or anything. We're not including fluid storage this time. We should probably put a bunch of storage chests nice and close to it, though. What did I just rotate? So something like this. Alright, so subtracting contents of the robot network. And I really don't want to lose... Um, also, I didn't look at Shattered Skies yet. Shatter the Skies. What do we got? It's mostly ice. That's a decent amount of Nacrotite. 261% uh, frequency, 215 size, richness 117. It's not way up there, but... It's probably like just below Maelstrom, let's call it 50%, or uh, like priority 50, it's just an arbitrary number. Give us an idea of how, how they rank. Twisty P, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. There's the RoboPort. Okay, so I, I definitely want to preserve our list of stuff. Um, how about over here? That we're trying to make. And our uh, whitelist. H times negative 10k. Huh? 
What? Oh, I remember. Yeah, we need to have a big negative number for anything that's already in the buffer chest. So we stop requesting it, so it stops looping. Um... Hmm. Oh, I know. Wait, do I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This 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 might be enough. Um what we're gonna do here is set filters blacklist. Superior if it's not enough, we'll just cram more logic into it. Superior filter inserter. Set filters blacklist. And read the contents of this active provider chest. Um, if it were just these two, that would, uh, and if there's only up to four different types of items in here at once, which we could ensure by limiting the stacks. Um, but we could perhaps, uh, that'd probably be enough by itself if it's just... The, just the one pair of chests like this. Um, but we maybe want to try and get away with four of them. We'll see how this works. Or if it works. So basically, whatever's in here that's excess gets requested by the requester chest. Whatever's... Uh, in the purple chest gets blacklisted for the filter inserter. So therefore the bots are not going to be moving these, uh, moving items between these two chests round and round in circles. I don't know if that's going to be enough for... We're not going back and forth between all four of these chests. If it does turn out to be a problem, we could probably just link all of these like so. In fact, I'm positive this will work. We'll just limit each of these chests to only one stack. And we'll blacklist up to four items. That should work. Cool, cool, cool. Now, um, we got some deconstructing to do. Oh, I want this, uh, this container as well. I want to preserve the requests that we've got. Making sure that we put it outside of the robot network range. Um, and the whitelist also. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I think we can get away with... Removing this? Assuming we have enough storage space. Oh, of course the trains are jumping in. Of course. I don't really think we need to empty that, actually. Let's remove all of these. And... Gonna need a bit more room here. It's gonna create a lot of jobs for the bots to do. And I think we lost all of our Logi requests there. Let's copy paste those back on. And then we've got like two by four. These are on green wires, yes? Fantastic. Let's start with the belts up here. I can't actually do it that way. Copy, paste. How about cut and paste? Cut. Paste. Um, these two. What the... Oh, I turned off alt mode.
Does it really matter what order we do these in at the moment? Let's just get it done, and then we'll play around with it. I might have to rotate this, actually. Okay. And a couple of these down here, I guess. Cool, cool, cool. And our fluid... Uh, it doesn't actually have a way in. It's fine. Get rid of the old... Whoops. Without destroying any lubricant, push it back into the network. One by one. That'll do for now. Do we really not have... No, we do have space assembly machines. And then I want... All of our old... Stuff. Let's just start with this. Right about... uh-oh. Right about here. And then we've got quite a few more. Can I put this here? Yes. We've got five, six more constant combinators of stuff. They're not all necessarily full, it's, we've been trying to keep them somewhat organized. That looks kind of weird. Alright. Now, I imagine our poor train is having all kinds of troubles. Loading and unloading. As, as soon as the bots get imbalanced. Can I, like, switch off this loader or something? Output C1. Uh, yeah, stop loading all the other stuff. Other than the construction bots. Can I get him to stop loading construction bots too? That should just empty that whole thing. Why is it still loading? Oh, this is the memory cell. I want to get rid of the C from here. So we're not acknowledging that the construction bots have been loaded. And we're not trying to load construction bots in the first place. Cool, cool, cool. And I can't... Holy crap. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I just noticed we don't have a charger over here. That might help. But also, same deal over here. Let's... Um... Let's not load anything into this train for the moment. Uh, 
Do we really not have space assembly machines here? That doesn't sound right. They're in a requester chest. Uh-oh. Alright, let's go pick some up. That, that's a lot of stuff. And robots go. Fantastic. Why are we not powered? I'm obviously not going to fit a pylon in the middle here. I guess this will do. Is this necessary? Oh, I see. Hmm. Apparently. Let's get this mess tidied up. Much better. And why are we not yet... Oh, probably because we haven't connected our inputs. Does this go... why is that green reach over there? Mm, this should work. think. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. Should kick in in a few seconds. There we go. I was trying to make all sorts of things. I wonder if there's a bunch of stuff unaccounted for that's actually in the robot network. Or are we just not acknowledging anything? No, it looks like we are subtracting contents of the robot network. Hmm. Apparently we've got 280 burner inserters. Um, how much are we aiming for? It should be like one. It apparently is 200. That's still... Oh, no, it switched. Seems to be working. Cool, cool, cool. Now, in order to... make sure... the fluid connection is facing correctly... I'm just going to have to set these just once. And when they switch back to a recipe that uses uh, lubricant next time, it should just work. Oh, I didn't actually set these. Oh, I copied them. Discard fluids. Really? I don't think we need to discard fluids. Empty insert his hands. Wait for output to clear. No, that should be fine. Just don't waste fluid. Cool. Seems to be working quite well. The machines are nowhere near as individually fast as the giant uh, space manufactories, but they don't need to be. It's more important that we don't end up with, like, four out of four things that we can't build at the moment and the whole thing gets jammed. Why are we making so many steel beams here? Uh, did I really not 
bring steel beams up? I've probably gone over this before. How many things do steel beams go into? Uh, they do go into advanced furnaces at quite a scale. But we're not making advanced furnaces up here. Hmm. Are we not beaming down this end somewhere? Surely we are. Storage steel beam. And sure enough, we are putting it into the rail network. I just don't think we're bringing it upstairs in a train, but maybe we should. We might actually be sacrificing a significant amount of steel by not using prod modules for this. But then maybe it's not at a big enough scale to bother paying space elevator cables to bring them up? Oh, I need some lamps over there. Let's borrow this guy for a ride. Where are the lamps missing from? The new one, of course. There we go. And then I should finally get back to finishing the Vulcanite outpost. Um, which I only got distracted from because we were missing some stuff that normally goes in the construction ship. Like blue belts. Which seem to have caught up. Uh, ion engines and console, and I believe holmium's been a problem for a while. Yep, holmium plate, that's why we don't have tier 2 flat solar panels. But we don't need any more right now. How many beams are we trying to make here? Only a hundred, so they're constantly getting used somewhere. This would be... this would be where? The bots don't seem to be going around in circles with uh, the removal of excess items in the chest. So that's good. Except we do seem to be taking our sweet time emptying the excess stuff from in here. So what if I don't connect all of these? Will they, will they end up going in circles? I don't think they are. Yeah, no, that seems to be working okay. It's obviously a bit hard to follow. But I don't see bots going back and forth between requester chests and active providers. I don't think. I think I did catch one of them doing it. We've obviously got plenty of storage space. And we'll see how that goes. So apparently we've got a bunch of catching up to do here. Uh, 
since when are we trying to make so many secure canisters? Seven point five thousand. This might have been when I decided to just do that at the mall instead of this. We can probably stop with the secure canisters at the mall. Now why is this not working right now? Oh, no superconductive. Fair enough. Superconductive is actually active right now. It's just... It's probably just slow. Like, it is very slow. I, I would actually be surprised if we'd run out of Holmium cable. Superconductive cable has been pretty steady for the last 10 hours. Very steady, actually. Probably need more machines to make it. Which we've obviously got room for. Got to get out of my train. Um... So we're actually running out of things that we're trying to make here. We're trying to make ammo. We're trying to make like three more beams. We're trying to make a couple of batteries. The ammo is fluctuating like crazy. Evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, these blank things here. This is what I want to see. That's why we have these extra ones to make sure. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Uh, wh whoa, whoa, whoa. Motion sickness warning. Let's go back to our spaceship. a lot of... you know what? I'll hold on to the fuel processor. Um, I think we just need rail and stuff, right? To finish the outpost. I just want to get all the Vulcanite core fragment uh, drills on the space elevator. Whoops. Alright, ETA, four minutes. UPS has been higher today. I guess we're reaping the benefits of clearing out uh, some of the old builds and putting in more efficient ones. I've actually got a lot of mag canisters already, so one more delivery of a superconductive cable should completely saturate it. Although this thing is thirsting for more mag canisters. Actually, why haven't they been delivered? 50... there's like... 24 mag canisters missing? That's odd. Did I steal them? It's very odd. Alright, let's start planning. Um, I should probably start setting up... Launching all of the stuff back to... Kagan. Back to the mall. Launch disabled. Oh, because there's no fuel. Why are we out of fuel? Oh, probably because I cut off the oil processing somehow. We're actually bringing 
Yeah, I deleted half of the oil processing, so we're bottlenecking on this, I think. Including getting rid of the petroleum, which is not happening fast enough. Uh, you know what? Just, just get rid of it. It's not like we're going to be ferrying that back to Hagen. Good thing there's no life on this planet. That would have been an ecological disaster. So now we can keep making liquid rocket fuel. Uh, I definitely want to stop requesting vulcanite core fragments uh, to be dropped off for these cargo rockets. What I do want to do is send everything else. I mean, once once we empty these four fragments, uh, we want to send everything else that's in the robot network here back to Hagen. Are we there yet? 17 seconds. Fantastic. Why are you leaving... Oh boy, it's probably happening again. Why are you leaving our new outpost with no... It's going to Gibble. I think I know what the mistake is here. Please go to Granis Orbit. And... Forget everything on this memory cell. Granis Orbit. Time equals 55. No, that should be correct. Planet Orbit. Did we not update that? Planet Orbit 1168. No, I think it's... I think it's right. Planet Orbit 1168. This is correct. So why are we getting the bounce back to other outposts thing? that we've seen happen with some other some other ships as uh, more, more to the point some other outposts we're not dumping vulcanite core fragments into these some of these other blocks are we Not that I can see. Is there... Are, are there Vulcanite core fragments in the mall? There are not. So it doesn't seem like that's happened yet. Why is this ship still here? Because it's waiting for core fragments. What's its destination? Hagen Orbit. This part seems to be working correctly. Why is this guy still trying to empty on this side? Train limit one. Oh, this wire is not connected. How did that happen? Hmm. Okay. That should sort itself out from here. There's plenty of storage space in the mines downstairs, so we probably didn't lose any overall throughput. Who's going to skip this one this time? Good. Fantastic. And our ship is like three quarters full.
So this one I didn't alter at all, and I haven't changed anything on the outpost yet. And it looks like it's going to be sent back to Hagen Orbit automatically. So how did that other ship get messed up? This one's headed for Exorion. And there he goes. Destination Hagen Orbit, memory cell, plus 10 for the clamp ID, and sure enough, oh, we're aiming for clamp 13, is that accurate? It is not, it's copy-pasted wrong. That should be 11. Cool, cool, cool. And we just dropped off Vulcanite or Fragments while I momentarily typoed that. Uh, we're going to end up with those Vulcanite Core Fragments in the mall. But for some reason there's hardly any of them here. I think we caught a bugged ship. So, kind of lucky. And then ship is ready. Fantastic. Alright. I kind of want to build, but I kind of want to pay attention to the ships and try and find out how that one was sent to Gibbel from Granis. Maybe that one was bouncing around from a previous mistake. In that case, it would eventually be low on fuel, right? These all seem to be working just fine. Except for when they let themselves run out of power. That doesn't help. I'll have to go rescue this one. Ion Hauler 13. Lucky 13. What's this guy doing? Heading back to Hagen Orbit. Can't seem to find a ship with anything wrong with it right now. I'm going to go rescue 13 before I forget. It's not a long trip anyway. And while we're in transit, I can plan. Wait, was that what I thought it was? No, no it was not. Fantastic. Hmm. I'll just leave the Vitam Lounge Core Fragments up here for now. Alright, so I'm thinking... This rail... It can just extend up this way to chase all of these guys. Um, this one's obviously going to go straight up here to go after this one. Hmm. 
can actually just get rid of most of that. Oh, no. Not that part. Well, we get the idea anyway. I'll wait till I'm actually down here to finish the rest of that. But that should fit over here without any problems. Front left. Yep, that should be fine. In fact, let me just put this here. So we can see exactly where that's going to go. And then maybe I should go straight up from this one. Straight across. We can actually probably put train stops between these two. That's pretty good. Now how does this line up? Ooh. Pretty well. Um, so we can maybe go front left. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Uh, and we'll have some signals over here. Oh. Wait, can I not fit that there? No, I can. That should be fine. Then a corner over here, and do I have a corner signals I can copy paste from somewhere? Not really. Oh yes I do. Except I'd have to flip it, which kind of defeats the purpose. Maybe not. Yeah, this way I can see where that goes. Is that backward? Is which backward? I just can't point at the uh, signal. It's actually there, though. Nothing is wrong? Uh-oh. I've heard that before. Alright. Um, I think I'll have this rail continue up to go to this one. We'll just start with front left. Over here. You should really blueprint book some of these things. Like a typical corner. Well, that's convenient. Uh, how about L for left? One uh, left. Well, that's more like 
What do you call this? It's not a T. I guess a Y intersection left. It's not quite right either. Whatever. I'm going to shove that into this book. And where's that right side version of it? Here it is. Except that I'm going to rotate it. I can see left Y working. Indeed. And I also want just straight up a corner in that book because I keep having to like look for it with the copy paste. Literally just this. Oh wait, I need to make a copy before I edit it. Those are the most common ones. Um, so then I can just go... Why don't I put it down here? It's not like I ever use this slot to find rail. There we go. And then I just realize... Uh, that that needs one of these. Fair enough. And then we'll just put some signals here. And follow this all the way up. It is a long way up to our final station over here. Is that right? Nope. And I just left these on the ground, didn't I? That's actually perfect. What are you working on? Um, just updating our old outpost on Granis. Oh, but first, let's rescue Iron Hauler 13. Um, wherein we need a single piece of uranium in here. And then... Uh, how do I bring up Polar 13? There we go. Is it full? It is. Let's send it back to Gen Orb. Cool, cool, cool. Reducing signals? Yeah, not just signals, but yes. Reducing quite a lot. Let's go back to Granis Orbit. So, all of these in the top left corner are designed, if not done. And then these three over here, we could probably branch out from this one. And this one over here, where's our elevator? Move it this way.
one, two, three, four, wait, what? One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. It feels like they're not in order or something. Front left, back left. Hold on. Front right, back right, front left, back left. Front left, back right. Front right, back right. Okay, okay. How about like this? That's closer to what I would intuitively expect as I scroll through these. That's more like it. If I recall correctly, the end goal is to make the save smaller slash faster. Yes. Yes, indeed. So that's going to go over there. You know what I should be laying out the design for while I'm doing this remotely is the power poles. And there's another trail way over here. Um, these two are already set up. These two are not. It's going to take up the same space because it's going to trim to a square. Regardless. So... How about... One shared rail between these two. Oh, I already planned that out. That makes sense. And we could maybe just do an underground... All the way up here. It's actually going to need to go further. Alright. So this one... This one's going to be front right, I think. Like here. Welcome, welcome, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me just not forget to put signals over here. That seems good. And where are we going? Here we go. Went too far. It's pretty much right where the rare metals are. Wanna... Fantastic. Arkale, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where's our power poles? Now these ones we can lay out the designs for. Because they're not going to crisscross with existing power poles. Does that line up? Yep, it lines up too well. God damn it. Oh, that's, that's good. I'm going to need to pull down here, though.
Adding the corner to the station blueprint book. Indeed, it's about time. 57 seconds till we're physically there. I'm a little concerned about that bugged ship that we found. Leaving Granis and heading for Gibil. Let me just double check that all of the outposts have different numbers again. Uh, time equals 15. 20. Oh, it's shift down, isn't it? 25. 40. 30. Five. Which one's this? Kalmea. Why are you not leaving? <sighs> Cause it's got Holmanite core fragments in it. Mm. That makes way too much sense. Just go back to Hagen Orbit. It's only a short trip, right? Yes. Anyway, let's focus on trying to find the bug first. Uh, this one was five, ten. I think we've seen fifteen already. Fifty. 35 and 45 and our new Brennus update is 55 so I'm pretty sure there were no duplicates in that 13 bugged again that ship has issues indeed Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Um, is there anything else I want to be carrying right now? Not just yet. Oh, wait. M more bulk rail loaders. Perhaps. We've already got the drills. Yeah, that should be fine for now. Alright, so let's head down and build out the ones that are kind of in the sticks. Evening. Evening, burgers. Welcome back. What's all this, then? My bad, forgot tab was muted when I clicked trade. No worries. All the time. Very common. Very easy to do. Got a bit ahead of my bots there. Immersium produces a crap ton of sulfur. Uh, yeah, it does. Yes, it does. Haven't had too much trouble with sulfur this game. Then again, I haven't had much trouble with petroleum this game. Because our home moon has ludicrous amounts of crude oil. Hello T hacks. Hello T. Hello to you too, uh, C Moogle. Thank you so much for the eight months with Prime. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Let's not forget these power poles. You can never outpace your bots that that way. Which way? Just using a train on manual, holding forward. Indeed. <laughs> Designing a big tier 2 product module factory to eat up sulfur so I don't get backed up. Seems good. Why are we not placing this?
There we go. And for some reason I always have to toggle this on when I start playing. To show bots on the map. Got a bounce? Alright, take care. Have a good one, Focus. Thanks for dropping by. Getting close. And I think we can update this one now. Actually, why don't I... Why don't I drain this one while we're here? I don't have loaders on me. Oh no. I guess I'll borrow this one. We haven't, we're not finishing this part though, regardless. Uh, no, stop it, butts. God damn it. Keep it balanced. Um, well, my idea anyway was to take this, bring it over here, and do that. Let's fly back to the ship. Rosa, 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 Rosa. That's a lot of stone already. Gotta go have a nice stream. Alright, thanks for dropping by, Sea Moogle. And take care. Thanks again for the sub. Where's our elevator? Here it is. What did I come back for again? Blues. I got the blues. Fantastic. And undergrounds and splitters. Oh, that's not what I meant. But I found it. Okay, cool. We ride. At least it's not that big of a planet. Or moon. I guess it's technically a planet. There we go. There we go. Okay. That should drain all the old stuff from here. Pretty quickly, actually. Um, in fact, prior input this stuff. Hmm. If that's a full belt and we're priority inputting it, I would have thought these would just back up. It is a full bell. What's going on there? Oh, because it's trying to out it because it, it's outputting to more than one belt. Derp. Obviously. Obviously. It has space on the output, yes. How are you for jetpack fuel? I have 160 processed. And it's almost drained already. Fantastic. Then past ambulance. Alright, let's get rid of this stuff. Let's take out our trees slash rocks excluder. And I'm pretty sure this is the only thing this is linked to now. 
Let's get rid of all this old stuff here. Don't want a cliff explode though. Dunsky, or at least Plansky. It means we can put this over here. Oh, we've got more rail to get rid of. Uh, let's turn off LTN for this one. So we should be able to plan these out without them getting thrown off by attaching to other power poles like this. Mm. Is that max distance? Should be. It's actually not. Why are you like this? On you, walks of shame are embarrassing. I've got it down here. You can see it without looking at inventory. And why do we not have power? Because there's one single one of those missing over there. Zinder, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And thanks for hanging out for three streams in a row. Much appreciated. Alright. We can drain those now. Get out of here. And... Uh, I'm pretty sure I just need to reconnect, or connect in the first place, that pole. And this thing should be running nice and balanced. Cool, cool, cool. We've got our signals over here. This one's running as well. Gosh, Dick. Let's put this up here. And there are no other core drills down this way. Did I already... Yes, I did. Cool, cool, cool. So, one, two, three, four, five are done. Six, seven, eight, nine. Everything south of this point is updated. This guy is not. And neither is this one. Let's head up and pick up all these rails.
Look at the butts go. Blah, blah, blah. Words are hard. Look at those butts go. Oh, we've still got a long way to go, actually. There's not some stuff left on the ground, is it? I don't think so. That is. Alright, while the bots are recharging, how are we doing back at base? Autocraft is looking very good. Wish I'd updated it like this sooner. See, there is a delete an entire planet button now. Uh, you can't delete it if something that belongs to you is on it. But that's been there for a while. Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Delete it regardless. Huh. What if I declare extinction on Nalvis and then delete Nalvis? Instead of taking the time to deconstruct all of this. Wait, is this in the version that I'm playing or am I going to have to update and risk breaking something or other? Even if you got items. Very cool, actually. I would probably have used that for this, or at least seriously considered it. Unsure of your version? Where can I check? 1.1.7. Well, that's Factorio, isn't it? Is that the Exterminatus button? No, I think it'll keep... Uh, you'd still have to clear out the biters yourself to get the biter percentage down. a long road. We're getting close, though. Kind of. 12th March 2023 patch. Yeah, I don't have that. This is months old. And we can update this one while we're here. Need some power poles. Uh, how about... is that max distance? No, it's not. Yes, it is. How about this way? No, I, I don't trust as they go near the other poles that this will connect properly. Let's just do it like this. And... We're definitely going to need... Some kind of diagonal up here. I think that's diagonal. Might not be. That looks like 45 degrees. Okay, cool. We build. Abandoned surface, you can now force the deletion of a surface even if you have entities on it. Interesting. You have a blueprint for 45 power lines, only at maximum distance. And that's definitely not maximum distance. Uh, Get out of here, coal. And landfill. I have to say, the uh, the Spidertrons needing uranium fuel cells really probably is the deal breaker. So that I'm not bothering with them. Because I want to, like, 
The way I want to use them this playthrough is to drop them on a planet temporarily and deploy them. Um... I'll just signal this temporarily. That should be fine. Having to hold on to the spicy rocks is a bit more of a nuisance. I can't do it that way, can I? Now we leave now we're leaving it on the ground. I can't remember there was another item there was another core fragment that I left on the ground somewhere. It's gonna bug me. Why do I have all this scrap? Okay, so I think this rail is just going to continue out this way and then turn to the right. Let's get rid of the old rail. Um, and I think we'll do it this way. Oh, that's easy. Cool, cool, cool. It'll be a little slow, but who cares? It's, it's more than a stack per second. Let's grab our decon planner. I wish I could include cliffs in this thing. Luckily, we didn't find any. And let's go pick this stuff up. Wow, there's broken ship parts all the way out here? Broken cargo rockets. Or was this where we originally crashed, maybe? Maybe. Actually, what's going on with our robopods? There we go. Alright, alright, alright. Get rid of... That's actually still draining. It's almost done. Out with the old... Uh, out with the core fragments as well. Rebalance. No trees or rocks, please. I guess I need to put a bunch of rail in my in my trash slots at this point. I think the bots are more well, no uh, rip clippies. I think the bots are more responsive if I wait until I'm in range. Definitely. And we're here. 
Um, tell you what, shove all of these into some boxes. Shift C those out of here. And rail goes what kind of fur? Front left. Seems decent. How about here? And then limit these chests to nothing. These even distro and get him out of there. And then? Extend this out here. Bit of signal. Where's our corner going to be? Perfect. What about the lights? That wouldn't have reached the drill, right? No. No, it can... That should be perfect. Easy. Don't forget the rail. Probably check on spaceships, see if I can't see any that are misbehaving. I'm very concerned by how many we've got hovering at Hagen. Oh no. Let's see. There's like 15 or 20 of them. What's your deal? Nothing but Vidamelange, and you're trying to land in the right place it looks like? That should be fine. This one looks good as well. Let me just check the drop-off stations first. Bit of Melange is... Really? You're telling me that most of our ships are waiting to land, but this guy doesn't have a place to go. That doesn't seem right. That really doesn't seem right. The ship is ready. It's reporting ready. We haven't messed with this stuff in ages. Input signals, Vidim Lange. We're trying to dispatch a ship. With the Vulcanite launcher, it's probably not launching for some reason. Oh, I think I know the answer. I haven't configured this yet. That's probably all there was to it. Vulcanite ship... Could have launched. No? Yep, what did, yep, yep, yes, I think we just had a few ships landing. Uh, I think, I think we just had a few 
ships land and take off. Um, just, just a couple. Okay. I think we're going to have some double launches from that. Yeah. But that shouldn't be too bad. They're actually all going to Moss Garden? <laughs> uh, that might actually be bad. Oh no. Don't tell me. As soon as... As soon as we meet our condition to launch another ship. Looks like it's going to be the recycle drop-off. It's already gone. Wait, how are you reporting ship ready? Uh... You're not. You're not reporting ship ready. So why is this light? Because it's still set wrong. There we go. So we have zero ships ready to launch right now, it looks like. And Vulcanite ship is ready to launch. And Iridite and two others. All around about the same time. And there should be bots loading cables into them or something right now. I think they just launched. Strumhurst, also Strumhurst. Also Strumhurst. It's not the end of the world if we send two at a time, but three or four is questionable. That's Moss Garden again? It shouldn't be possible to send another one to Moss Garden yet. Unless I forgot that I changed it. Let's see. T negative one? Did I get rid of the minimum... The minimum cooldown to, sp to send ships here? That might not be the best idea. How about 100 seconds? Well, that's probably going to take a while to correct itself. If there's another problem happening, it's going to be a little bit harder to find it. Uh, but we've got only a few ships waiting. Yeah, we've only got literally one ship hovering in orbit now, waiting to land. Hagen orbit. So we fixed that. What is everyone going to pick up? Uh, Moss Garden is Vidomelange. Stromhurst, I believe, is Iridite. So some high demand Remind stuff. Yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. What was overconfident about that? Um, what's this thing? Oh, a power pole. Power pole. Get over here. And we've got like five missing over this way. I might be the overconfident one right now. Uh-oh. Here we are. I think I still skipped one. There we go. And we're running. Fantastic. So I think that's all but like three. Nope, not even close. I planned these ones, I didn't actually build them yet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I kind of want to dig up these old solar panels as well. Or at least as many as I can in one trip. Can you beacon the core drills? Nope. Not even a little bit. 25 megawatt 
and a set speed is what you get. Well, a set speed depending on the number of drills, um, the size of the planet, the type, etc. Well, that might be literally everything. We're already full. Can I not get at least one column of this in one go? Apparently not. Are you going to keep using all the drills or are you trimming some away? I might keep using all of them because I haven't found a great candidate for Vulcanite yet. Let's look from Hagen Orbit. We've got some that are close to the edge of the solar system. This one's like 5.1k radius, that might be fine. Vulcanite's relatively fast for how much you drill out of it compared to its demand. Uh, what I really want to see is something with 7% solar and a really big radius, uh, and preferably with no biters. Or, if it's a smaller radius, uh, if it's closer than going via Foenestra, that would also be valid. Um, but so far, the only one that fits the bill for that is Granus, I think. It's only 2k... Uh, it's 2k radius. Uh, it's only 7.5k delta V away from Hagen orbit. Which is like a fifth Shashi is smaller, so not worth. Everything else is far enough away that we should use Foenestra, but none of them are both really, really big and close to the edge of the solar system. So Granus is basically it for the moment. Let's put the scrap in here. Could you send a couple of Spidertrons to help deconstruct? I could, but it would only cause... It, it would only add as much trouble as it saves. Especially uh, just that little nuisance of swapping out the nuclear fuel. You don't just place Spidertrons, you have to place a, a Spidertron and then pull spicy rocks out of your pocket and put them in. It's annoying. Alright, I'm going to dump all this in the malt. Bots are already taking it. And I probably don't need more than like a thousand rail. Considering we keep picking rail up. Captain Tree, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Let's go with this many. It doesn't make any sense that we still need the portable RTGs to make the Spidertrons. But then you also have to cram uranium fuel cells into them for them to work. And more, more importantly, it's a quality of life downgrade. And you can never have... I'm pretty sure there's no way to automatically resupply them for those fuel cells into the fuel thing. So you can never have them just work indefinitely. 
How are we doing now? I see ships moving. How about our ingots or core fragment processing? Left bracket should show it. Consumption of various core fragments. Let's see. We're not worried about copper because that's the one thing that has a dedicated line. Uh, Vulcanite obviously dropped off. That's a bit of a worry. Actually, that is a bit of a worry. Um, where is... Let me just fix this real quick. Uh, what was I doing? Let's park over here. How badly do singular singularity reactors hurt speed of spaceships? I have no idea. I haven't played with them yet. Zaxxon, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Oh yeah, I was trying to look at the Vulcanite core fragments. So presumably they are not here. They are not in orbit. They are in orbit. I haven't made a train yet to move the Vulcanite core fragments. <laughs> That's kind of important. We'd better go back and do that before we continue this. Oopsie daisies. Hurry up, box. Come on now. You're running off nuclear power. This shouldn't be an issue. Alright, back to the ship. Because I do have to personally make the train. It is our spell evader. And an orb. And I'm going to grab a drink. Two minutes till we get home. Okay then. What should we do with a two minute break? Let's design something. Um, but what? I don't actually have anything in mind right now. I did just update our uh, auto crafter. I could do the high tier modules, or at least make a start on them. So on the ground we've got tier 6 efficiency, tier 7 prod, and tier 8 speed. Or we will have. Um, so in space we need to do... Let me just mark this out. Tier 7, 8, and 9. Tier 8 and 9, and Tier 9. 
And what we what do we need for these uh, lovelies? All different fluids, except for this one doesn't need any fluids. Hmm. Yeah, no quantum processes. There 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 were good reasons why I drew the line here as to what to build in space or not. Okay. So all of these need deep space catalogs. It's kind of expensive. And they obviously need their previous tier. That can be kind of implicit. Uh, and they need one other solid each. So nano material. Uh, lattice pressure vessel. Singularity reactors have 500 hull stress penalty, in addition to some sort of speed penalty. That's nasty. On the other hand, well, I was going to say on the other hand, reactors are like most of a spaceship, but once you get to high temp turbine generators, do singularity reactors produce heat that we have to consume just like other... No? No, it looks like they just straight generate power by consuming fuel. Is that right? What the... What? Shift right, shift left doesn't do anything from this. Uh, what's it looking for? Charged Singularity Fuel Cell. Let's bring this away from where there's any power poles. And yes. Well, no wonder you get a penalty for them. Look how easy this is. As opposed to having to manage the high temp turbine generators. The, the, the generator itself is almost as big as the singularity reactor. And then you've got to deal with water and 500 degree steam coming out. You need like... I think the ratio changed, but you need at least a couple of condenser turbines. Uh, to deal with the 500 degree steam coming out. Unless you want to, like, delete it. Which is not a great idea. On top of this, you need a storage of steam. Which you get double penalty for the, um, the storing steam since, uh, I don't know what version. 0.6, I think. Or you can store heat or generate heat um, and use a, a heat exchanger. And you'll either want a... Um, maybe something like an antimatter reactor... Which is ridiculously thirsty. Like, I'm actually shocked at how thirsty it is. I don't think it's worth it, normally. Or you could use a, um, uh, energy beam receiver to store a bunch of heat that's being beamed to the ship. So it's a lot of space. You do get, like, a gigawatt out of each high temp turbine generator. Um, but suffice to say, you're getting so much out of this, I can see why they would, uh, try to balance it. Even if they may have been heavy-handed or not. I think the Singularity Reactors would break the gamification of spaceships if there wasn't some large penalty. Yeah, quite likely. Let's drop in here. Uh, and I should probably make my train before I get carried away. Um, we 
we really need to get those Vulcanite core fragments moving. That's the wrong schedule. Can I copy from one of these guys? Oh, that's the short one. No, no, it isn't. Cool, cool, cool. That should be yeah, up and down the elevator. We do have LTN trains picking up the Vitamolange core fragments to stay in space. Um, but they're the only ones, and that doesn't happen very often. Alright, so... Vulcanite core fragment... Um, goes here. And we need Vulcanite core fragment requester. That'll be this one, I think. Yes, pretty sure. Empty cargo. Let's make sure it's going to the right place. Also, also, let's make sure it has what it needs. That should be fine for now. All right, let's take a ride with our uh, our craft. Why doesn't it? Oh, did I not name these stations? Uh oh. No, I did. It just doesn't have the train limit because I didn't update this bit. Okay, okay, we're good. Here I was afraid Vulcanite core fragments would have been taken to other core fragment drop-offs. So what kind of throughput did we have before? Um, four Vulcanite. Ten hours. Probably like 1.9k per minute. So 31 per second. Which is significantly less than our drills on Granus are able to supply. Oh wait, I should be looking at where we're going. Uh, that do appear to be the right place to drop off a Vulcanite core fragments. Fantastic. Should we make another one, is what I'm worrying, uh, wondering right now. May as well. Then again, we're kind of short on depot stops here. I wish we didn't need them. I should probably make another one quite soon. Alright, let's jump into the editor. I want to kind of figure this out right now. We've got five hours of life support. It doesn't really matter if I stand here. Okay. So we've got Deep space catalogs in common, and then we need tier four energy and bio catalogs. And gel. Um, and dynamic emitter. And of course we'll have to deliver 
Uh, let's see, tier 6 modules. Energy. Uh, tier 7 prods. And tier 8 speed modules. And this thing needs superconductive cable. I'm thinking we bought this again. Pretty much the same deal as what we did on the surface. Uh, because the overall throughput that we need is low, but there's so many different things to drop off. Not as bad in orbit. Um, we basically just do this thing again. We do have a lot of fluids to drop off. One, two, three, four, five. That might be possible. It looks like any given fluid is going to be pretty slow for consumption. Can I do five fluid drop-offs at one station? That is also going to be... Uh, one, two, let's get one of these. Not elegantly. If I'm going to use bulk rail unloader, it's not going to look so good. I should maybe have a different drop-off or two for solids versus fluids. Also, this would have to be separate. So we couldn't get the maximum number of pump connections. We don't need it though. Uh, well, we could definitely fit six uh, pump connectors to output different... F Actually, it's only three per cargo wagon, unless we use both sides, which we might do. This would go here, actually. So, by querying the logistic train stop output, we can check which fluid the train is trying to drop off and activate the pumps accordingly. Question is... Can we make it work with three of these on one side? I think the answer is probably yes. We just need... Does this fit here? It does not. That's unfortunate. One, two... What fluids are we looking for? Both types of neural gel, chemical gel, antimatter stream, cyanide slush. Neural gel. Antimatter stream, chemical gel, cyanide slush. Right? Let's say this is one of them. And this is another. And... That actually reaches. That doesn't look so bad. It could be antimatter. And... This one could be whichever. So four can fit pretty neatly, and then we could just have like 
a one-off. How about this? That looks like kind of a mess, but it does work. On the other hand, we could have, um... Some fluids drop off where we have the solids drop off. So the solid drop off is just going to be active provider chests, box, etc. We can put the storage chests wherever they fit. This looks fun, Bio 4. It's actually designing uh, the last six uh, modules, the ones that it has. Well, they don't have to be done in space. Some of them probably do. Actually, no. Technically, none of them need to be done in space. But we can't get productivity bonuses for them. And I've picked which ones I'm doing in space based on how much stuff we would have to move through the space elevator first. Um, so we need one, two, three, four, five fluids. We could have, very easily, a couple of different fluid drop-offs at uh, at, this, at the drop-off for all the solids. And then maybe like on the other side or something, the other three can just look something like this. Whichever goes faster, we could maybe have more pumps or something. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. We honestly probably don't need more than a half block or less than that even to do these. Alright, something to think about. I want to get back to pushing those bottlenecks. How's our vulcanite production looking? Um, or consumption, more like. 1.1k per minute. It's looking pretty consistent right now. But I would have thought the bottleneck was maybe the train. It is the train. Well, we've got way more consumptive power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We definitely need another... Ah, wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Gotcha. Trains. Close enough. Please make another one here. We need at least a couple. And I need to go over there to put uh, engines into it. full for a second, or was it traffic? Surely that train hasn't caught up with... No, it, not even close. I can probably set these to just train limit one unconditional, to be honest. Now, how's our orbital for Vulcanite core fragments? It's looking fairly full. Waiting for a... Waiting for a ship to come. 
Has it got its timer going? Yeah. Yeah, we should have had a, a ship scheduled to come here a little while ago. Mm. Oh, there we go. Vulcanite core fragments are already on their way back. Cool, cool, cool. Seems to be working okay. Let's go see if we can finish. Uh, finish Granis. Or at least finish updating the part where we push all the core fragments to orbit. Nope. God damn it. That's a tidy little waste of fuel. Okay. So let's say all of our bottlenecks are solved. Let's pretend for a sec. What would I want to build next? And why is this bot hovering? Oh, I see. That's fine. That is fine. No, we're not launching a rocket until this gets below 2,000. Okay. Uh, do we actually have energy science? Ooh. Matter science, that's what I meant. We've got matter catalog one. Um, and have I built a thing to consume the matter catalog one? I don't think I have. Yeah, it's about time I did that, absolutely. Do we have, uh, more advanced research servers? We've got 25. I think I would like to... build based on those now, even if they're a bit of a pain to get going. Products finished. Not that many. For the AI cores. How many have we made all time? AI core. Oh, that's rounding it. <laughs> That's narrowing it down, apparently. Um, what what's it called? Through this thing, through the debug. I think I have to have debug on. Yeah, there we go. Recipe name AI dash core. I don't know if that'll help with the search here. Nope. Not even a little bit. I can't find it. I have no idea how many AI cores we've made. I mean, I could count from all of these machines, I guess. Uh, like a thousand and two plus almost a thousand. That's like two thousand. And then another four hundred, twenty-four hundred. And that's like 2,500. So almost all of the AI cores we ever made are here. Do you need fuzzy search on? Seems like it's always more trouble than it's worth. Where do I change it? Settings, other? Uh, 
interface. Fuzzy search. Interaction. Where is that without searching for it? Here it is. Okay. AI core. Nothing. Oh, let's go like all time. There it is, 2.4k. Still bringing up a lot of stuff. I type AI. There we go. Uh, no, we've consumed 2.4k. We've made 2.9. Oh, because of the recipe is double. It makes two. That's why. And we're here. We are here. Vlad, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for hanging out for three whole streams. In a row. What is this train doing? What? Oh, you're joking. Ah, <sighs> What on earth is a watch spark? What? Watch streak. I think they added it like, I don't know, this month or maybe a month ago. Twitch is doing stuff, indeed. These things are usually as much of a surprise to the streamer as anyone else. Uh, let's go build those rails, I guess, for starters. Twitch is being twitchy. Do I not have bots right now? No, the long range bots are taking the stuff. Is this empty? It is not. It's actually kind of a problem. Um, rename this so it doesn't receive anything. The thing is, I kind of want to keep the rockets going for a while. Just so I can use them to get all the old stuff back to Nalvis. Uh, I mean, Hagen Orbit. Go. Whoops, whoops, and furthermore, whoops. Um, can I, like, stop using this one? Send the rest of the fuel over this way. And I want to just... Set requests everything. Probably should have another chest for that, actually. <laughs> Whoops. Um, how about this? And of course, the requester chest is in there. I'll go rocket section. And which, uh, which landing pad were we using for this? 
I think it was the coal one. Yeah, pretty sure it was coal. Launch on cargo full, Hagen. Request literally everything from the robot. Whoops. From the robot network. And shovel it all in. Maybe it would be easier to start sending just solid rocket fuel here to finish all this off. Um, wait a sec. You know what? Never mind. It's fine. That'll work. This ends up getting full. So be it. Okay. Back to the rails. We'll just delete this. Stop worrying so much. Could, could you not fill my inventory with ice? There we go. Let's get rid of all this. Never did run out of this iron. Oh, that's going to be fun to remove. Oh, boy. Um. Hmm. Landfill? Do I have a recycling machine? Not on me. I can probably make one. Uh oh. Railgun time. <laughs> um give me some fuel. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. It's not requesting from buffers, is it? Don't do that yet. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, I was trying to make a recycling machine to get something useful out of that iron. We need heat shielding, steel, and advanced circuits. Surely we've got heat shielding here. We do. There it is. And there's our recycling. Blow it up, we won't tell. You will, though. will be front page news. Alright. Um, can I just put this about here? And turn iron into landfill. That's not in range of the robo network, is it? Give me an inserter. Why do I have literally zero inserters? Um, are you in here? Actually, no. Oh, yep, yep, yep. There's like two stack inserters here. Perfect. Um, but cut off the power for the mines. Come back to that. Where's our power pole going to be?
Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, that would be slightly off. Still, it might look better. There we go. Used to be just what you had to do to get the maximum power pull range over and over again. Let's drag it out this way. As my butts leap out. Oops, he. I just use the nav set for this. And that's not going to reach. This would have reached perfectly, actually. Maybe I should do it that way. Sazakalas Maki, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That doesn't quite touch the the drill here. Most unfortunate. But I think I will do this. Railgun app. Accidents happen all the time. <laughs> That's a nice iron mine you got there. Shame if something happened to it. 55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not Steel Mage. Good to see you again as well. Big Clown, welcome in. Why are my bots taking so long? Wait, do I not have... I do have... I have things. What? When did the personal RoboPort get so discharged? I guess the bots all just came back. Hmm. Alright, this one's gonna be nice and easy. I guess, can I do it like this? Or is that just going to be blocked? I think that's just blocked. Pretty sure. Oh, we can't actually put that signal there. No. It's fine. Fine. It should be almost drained. Really? Not quite. Or seam is set for decontamination. I mean, decon. What the hell? Uh, why can't I cancel that? I'm gonna have to be careful when I go back over there. I think I have to pick it up. Turn the bots off. Sneaky. We 
almost done here. Yes. Fantastic. More landfill. Oh, no, 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 I just said I have to... Okay, 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 okay. I don't know why they came back to me, but I'll take it. Pick this up. Now I can cancel... Okay. Whatever, I'll take it, it's fine. It's, as long as it works. And now I have a bunch of... more fragments in my inventory. There we go. Oh. Wait, oh, this didn't get placed yet. There we go. Did we already power this? We did not. Just a little further. Okay. So this goes here. This goes here. And all of this mess goes here. That reminds me, did I actually clear all that old stuff? Not quite. Alright, let's clear the rest of this. No cliff explodey. Fantastic. I think that's right. Alright, let's do this lap up here first. This guy's almost empty. And gone. Why does it still put core fragments in my hand? Shoo. I think that's supposed to be... There we go. Perfect fit. Alright, collect the old stuff. The bulk loaders have internal storage in their fake inserter hands. That makes sense. That actually makes perfect sense. Excuse me. Tired again. Let's 
soon as I get these two done, I want to design something. Well, it's not much of a fun design. It's a copy-paste edit, but I really should get um, matter science. Like, we've already got... I think we've probably got data cards saturated by now. Um, well, we've got a tr train load. Yeah, we've got like a train load and a water or something of matter containment data. Um, all the others, no, all the others except for matter liberation data are saturated. For some reason, we have zero hot thermodynamics. Products finished 2,500 times 2. What's the problem with hot thermo? Material testing pack. I'm going to guess it's purple stuff. It's purple stuff. Emosite crystal. Now where's the bottleneck? No sulfide. The powder is saturated. I think. The... Hmm. Let's check the graph. Have we been doing this consistently? Let me just check. Raw emesite can only be consumed by this, right? Basically, yes. Raw emma site consumption has been wavy but consistent ish. Um, but this is obviously able to keep up. Hmm. Yep, I guess we need more emosite. What about emosite core fragments? Have they been... This is not saturated. So we could just go get more emosite core fragments. Assuming that we even need to do that. We might need more spaceships. I really hate to admit it, but... I, I wanted to hold out um, until we had the new model with with uh, antimatter engines but it does seem like we need more spaceships like five or ten more I would say did you get the rain connect uh, the train uh, rail connected where the water used to be where the water used to be uh, nope That'll get done. Okay. Let's go finish this bit. How many ships have we got? Like 22 or 23, I think. Could we see how Bida clearance on Nalvis is going? Sure. It's, it's really getting there. There's just a few, there's just a couple of big clusters left, honestly. Depending on where you draw the line on big, this is most of the biters left on the planet. Not long now. What's that other planet we're trying to clear? Plato. Oh, not even the planet, just the part that we've explored. The beam isn't as strong at this range. And there's a lot of them here. Uh, we do have laser artillery down this way. Protecting a few core drills. I think we already got uh, trains picking up... Or ships, rather, picking up... Holmium... Holmonite core fragments from Plato. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, I remember it was set up incorrectly and the ship bounced from Plato to Corsol. You're joking. Iron Hauler 13. What? What is wrong with this ship? It keeps stopping and starting? Like, that... That bluish pulse effect is because it's like doing an integrity check. Not bluish, but... What? 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 Hold on. What is happening here? When does it pulse? It pulses, like doing an integrity check, like the ship starts to move, and then our accumulator charge drops. We've got... don't tell me this is full. It isn't full. And this... This insert is green. It's allowed to pick up the uranium, the used uranium fuel cells. So why isn't it doing that? I'm thinking it's like running off solar power. And as soon as... As soon as accumulator charge gets high enough again, it says, okay, we can go now. And then it immediately drains down and it stops until we gain more power. But, like, why the hell are we not taking the used up uranium fuel cells out? Speed signal is constantly less than 150. The light is green. There is room in... The container. We've got used up uranium fuel cells here. This inserter just doesn't want to do its job. There's a tiny vor fragment? Bottom left corner of the chest. What do you mean? There's an empty spot here. As long as there's an empty spot, it should be able to put something in here. Right side outside? Looks weird. What do you mean? Not enough power for inserter. There's actually plenty of power. It's just... It's just vibing. I cannot make any sense of this. What's our logic for the power doing? Negative 130. If D is greater than 100, which it is, then output negative 130. So we pretend we've got less accumulator charge. If the, uh, if we detect extra asteroids. But why... I guess our target speed is negative. Therefore we stop. So it's going to keep, like, rolling forward like this until it either doesn't get enough solar power or it gets closer and it gets enough solar power for the accumulator charge to go up. Is it a wire issue? No, we haven't touched the wires in ages. 
I'm, I'm just... Like, I, I removed the condition on this inserter. It's just read hand contents pulse, and it's not picking up the uranium fuel cell. Do we even want logic on the unloading inserters? Yes, otherwise we waste a lot of extra uranium. Well, I guess that works. That'll have to do. It does have a core fragment on the inserter top arrow? Top arrow. That's a dropped cargo. It's like on the ground. It's not actually in the container or held by the inserter. It is very weird that it's there. It's a container. Well, can I mark that for decon? Maybe it was trying to... Oh, you're kidding. The inserter was trying to put it in here? Bruh. That is 10 out of 10 sabotage. The inserter's highlighting it, so it must be inserting. Yeah, it is a container, and this is... You can just see it here. Like, normally it highlights this. And now it's highlighting the dropped cargo. <laughs> That's amazing. I can't wait to get away from needing this fuel management. Props to whoever noticed that, indeed. Very nicely done, Fraser. Johan Anderson, welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Pro inserter going for the hard snooker shot. Awesome cat, welcome in. The reactor is marked for decon. No, the reactor is not marked for decon. The... There's like dropped cargo there or something. But uh, no, it was because I I used the navsat to take used up uranium fuel cells out of the reactor to see if that would do something. Okay. And speaking of which, uh, that is actually full of Imosite cave core fragments. Two of them actually. All right, all right, all right. So should we spam spaceships again? I would really like to get to the higher tier spaceships rather than adding more, but I think we have to. I think we've got enough outposts that we're not necessarily getting a smooth flow of, like, each type. Because of the number of ships. Alright, um... How about here? Wave depletion? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why did we just run out of power? Oh. Oh, that's why it was running off an accumulator. Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What tech is needed for the upgrade? It is deep space. Uh, and I also need matter science pack, but... We've kind of sort of already got that. The real kicker is we need Astro Energy and Material 4 as well. It's not the worst to be patient and just design the things for new spaceships. Oh, they're already designed. Um, 
That's one of the reasons I really want to switch over to them. I know... I, I know the ways in which they are better. I mean, the ships themselves are designed, if that's what you meant. Maybe you were referring to, like, the blocks that we need to make it happen. We can have bigger ships with that tech? Yes. Yeah, with the same... Uh, with Deep Space 1, we can get, like... I forget if it's a 1,000 or 2,000 hull integrity. So here's the... Uh, here's the ship design. Where is it? Rather than... Let's see... This is like 256 stacks plus 14 times 48, which is like 83,000 core fragments. We've got 81 times 48. Um, times 20. 77,760 core fragments. Uh, and we don't have to leave any room for uranium fuel cells or anything. We don't have to worry about power at all. We don't have to worry about inserters getting confused. Um, if we've got fuel, we've got power, because these things run off of the antimatter. We just cram a bunch of these uh, thermo what's uh into the ship, and we've got a nice solid block of uh, buffer chests right next to where the bots are going to have a very short path to empty them. Much better in literally every way, except that it takes up more space. And it's more expensive up front, and you need to research it first. What happened to the 1k ship you designed, or did I dream you designing one? That was probably it. Um, I can't remember for sure. Uh, what the limit on that one was. Oh, 1k? No, we probably have 1k already, don't we? Yeah, I don't think I did design a 1k. We've got 800 at the moment. Um, ship integrity... Uh, if I do advanced tech card... And Matter Science Pack 1. I could go to 1k. It's a little expensive. It said 2k in the title. Indeed. So JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. we go. That's a lot of stuff. Um, let's clean up this first. I may as well wait until we have all four data cards for, uh, for Matter Science Pack. Oh, we did. We just haven't had another trainload of Matter Liberation data. Fair enough. So we've just been going through obscene amounts of material testing packs, basically. That's where all of our imicide is going, probably. Need more trains? No, we're good on, we're good on trains. You mean on this planet? Uh, I think I only put down one. But it... oh. Oh no. 
Oh no. <laughs> it's... Oh no. I don't want to have to go back down there just yet. I have to. Friggin' temporary signaling. I didn't do it properly because I didn't want to have to do it. I know. Okay, okay, I get it. I messed up. Because uh, I'm going to have to manually back this up a bit. And that one should work itself out. Up the elevator you go, and you should be able to leave. What's your problem? Oh. Did that already get placed? Yes, our trains are moving again. Amazing. Oh, here's that little t uh, circuit demo. The one where you figure out exactly how low your accumulator charge gets with a set drain. Okay. Everyone happy? We good? Oh, did we drain the iron? We did drain the iron. Beautiful. It feels a little strange to be tearing up a perfectly good iron mine, but it's not like I'm going to deliver the iron back to Hagen. Everything here was to support sending core fragments back, and now we're going to be doing that with no fuss. Uh, no muss, no fuss. As they say. Apparently we still need a chest here. Is that the end of it? Fantastic. And bots are crying again. Let's give them a hug. I suppose technically I could use the spellevator and spaceships to take stuff back to Aiken. <laughs> oh, that sounds messy. Some cliffs marked for decon in northwest corner of the old mine? Get out of here. Um, I was trying to put this in here, actually. There we go. And drop this off back in the robot network. We will eventually drain. Alright, back to it. Oh, this is a bigger task than I thought. We're getting there, though. It is night time on the Granus. On the entire planet, somehow. I know a mod wouldn't be able to do this, but uh, it would probably look very cool. If you actually saw the shadow of, well, not so much a shadow, but, you know, the lack of sunlight 
um, sweeping over the planet. Now I want to play KSP some more. Not until Thursday. We have no cliff explosives. Uh, I don't think I've been bringing that many cliff explosives. Oh, I stand very corrected. That's good. That's good. Don't you need water for oil, for fuel, for send sending stuff back? Yeah, I'm considering just sending solid rocket fuel here directly. Just to get the last of the stuff out. Or I could send things via the space elevator. Might be a little bit less troublesome. Um, with explosives, that's a lot. Our bots are still trying to catch us. What if Arendelle is a flat earth? <laughs> Oh, no. What's actually really fascinating about that topic is all the clever little ways that exist to prove that, uh, that it's not a flat Earth. So many, so many little things that, uh, are easy to understand, but you'd have to be very, very smart to come up with them to begin with. Some of them, anyway. What do you mean, if? Wait, what if? What did I say? Luckily, we had some very smart people back in ancient Greece, indeed. How much fuel do I have? Not that much. I do have the means to make it on the spot. I pick up pole, which is everywhere. Much further. There we go. There we go. It's a lot of crude oil I'm about to delete. But it's going to be so much more of a headache to try and keep it going. We've got basically infinite crude oil on Hagen. Didn't leave anything behind, did we? Doesn't look like it. We're full again. Alright, alright, alright. Please to be putting the core fragments in here. And I was going to say somehow we have power, but no, it just... It's like the core drill had some internal charge or something, it spat out one more fragment. Was this the one where we... Yes, yes it was. 
Give me those core fragments. Do not leave them on the ground. It'll bother me forever. There we go. There's actually not that much over this way. Let's just get that done. Unluckily, we give a platform to very noisy and thick people. Well, that's a whole problem, isn't it? There's no such thing as my free speech, but where do you draw the line? F in the chat for the crude oil, you <laughs> won't be forgotten? Oh no. Um, okay, there we go. Rip. The US won't invade this planet now? What a shame. Uh, did we empty this? We did not, because we don't have power. We have the power to get the power. Let's go. And why don't I turn some of this coal into fuel? Don't forget to pick it up on the way back. It's still a long way to go. Maybe it would be worth the headache. Well, okay, here's the thing. I would still have to ferry supplies to the Spidertrons. I don't think the Spidertrons can, like, use the space elevator or anything, right? We want to take them from the construction ship into the Spidertron, which is going to walk the path of placing rails and power poles. And when we place the Spidertron, we have to put the spicy rocks into the thing by hand. It probably lasts about as long as the spicy rocks in the portable nuclear reactor, which is to say, practically forever. But it's more the, the nuisance of having to do it the first time. It's already there. Is this running? It is. And Plastic. And get rid of the old stuff. Uh, and I thought there was another four seam up here, but actually there is not. Which means... We've done all of this. We've done this one, this one, this one. I believe we've done these two. Yes, we have. Haven't updated this little guy yet. Right next to the mall. Uh, nor this one. So there's the two next to the mall that we haven't done. These are all updated. Uh, and then one, two, three. We've got five to go. Let's go pick up that stuff. Presumably you can put a spider on a spaceship. Does it take much capacity? It does. There's a pretty hefty penalty for having an active spider on a spaceship. But you can do it if you so desire. Maybe I could use our little 
our little baby ship to bring a Spidertron down to the ground. We could maybe put like a robot port in the middle here. Hmm. Or we could even design a ship specifically to move Spidertrons. It'd only be like one or two or three or four at a time at best though. That's the mod for spiders. There's the mod for spiders on spaceships. Costs less if you dock the spider on the ship. That sounds cool. Orbital drop spiders? Hell yes. Oh my god. Now I want a crossover. What have you done? Give me Spidertrons in Battletech. Pick up that fuel for your backpack. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. It's way back here. God damn it. Remember to pick up fuel. Yes. We're down to 29. Ah! Spicy rocks. I think there should be a bio upgrade. <laughs> To just ignore the spicy rocks. Just like we do in vanilla. Getting into fallout territory for realism. It's actually not consuming the coal as fast as I thought it did. like a minute and a half before all that's gone. Uh, I kind of want to wait for it though. Is this thing... What type of core fragments do we have here? Yeah. That was a sneeze. Let's drop these off down in the mall. And I guess I'll start the copy-paste job, copy-paste edit job, for matter. We've actually got the, um, what do you call it, the catalogs already. I just haven't done matter science packs, which will probably look a lot like this. Let's see. Let's steal bioscience. And then... Actually, bioscience is like the worst choice because it's got a little exception to the rule. Material science. One of my favorites. Alright, so if this is... Matic, uh, Meta Science Pack 1. Wait, aren't we in the editor here? Oh, we need the advanced ones anyway. I was going to do that anyway, but still. Um, advanced... Research Server. Goes here. And we want... Matter Science Pack 1. Matter Science Pack. Yours. Got one minute spare equals check spaceships. I'm sure they're all working fine. Actually, they are. Well... We don't have them queued up at Hagen Orbit in any case. Yeah. 
That seems good. All the ones that are coming back are full, yes. That looks good. That looks good. And that looks good. Nice. Where are you going? Play two all bit. Oh, cool. I dropped the space spider mod in Discord. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um... So all that's left over here is core fragment uh, drills, which means we can cheerfully tear up all this rail. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop bothering with the production of rocket fuel here now. I'm either going to send solid rocket fuel by cargo rocket or send stuff back with the spell evader. All working fine, you say? What about 13? <laughs> I'm sure... I'm sure 13 is... Fine. See? See? He's... He's chugging along. He's doing his thing. Why is there still a robot corpse graphic here? It's been hours. Bruh. 13 is cursed. Headed for Bombatu orbit. Oh, he must be Foenestra. Coming from Foenestra right now. Spatial anomaly is dropping, yes. I want to keep the memories of that robot. <laughs> it wants to. Robot corpse has to be marked for destruction. Oh. Why wasn't it? How... How would this have happened outside of a robot network? That's very weird. I, I could say the same thing of that tiny container that ended up here. There are some big advantages to using bots to load and unload ships, but... Really starting to wonder. If it's worth the headache. Oh, this is starting to feel good. Like getting close to finishing cleaning your room or something. Um gonna be in the way, isn't it? Can I remove this limit? Push everything to here. Why did I do that? Limit this one entirely. There we go. And then grab our blueprint. We want front left. Uh, we can get rid of all this. And this can go here. I think we'll want that rail to continue up this way. Therefore, like that.
No cliff explode. Uh, I'm not even going to bother to stop that one little cliff explosive somewhere. As long as it's not so much that we actually run out of cliff explosives for no reason. That's the main thing. Alright, alright, alright. Where's our power pole? That looks like it might be a decent fit. Ooh. Should I make a little exception here? Just between you and me. It'll be our little secret. Um, that goes here and here. Not sure that mod can be called a Spidertron? More like Thrustertron. Wait, what? I, I remember someone mentioned there's a mod where the Spidertrons can float around in space, which is great. I use the other Spidertron mod. Constructortron automatically does construction repair landfill on that surface. Does patching too. As in, does it walk to things that need to be built? In space they float, saves hours manual building. But you have construction train. Similar, except the spiders, logi requests what's needed. Ad hoc, that's amazing. That won't even? Won't be even. Uh... You're right. This is true. Pathing, yes. Okay, I'll just use even distro. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, that doesn't... isn't actually powered? Oh. There we go. There we go. No. No? Really? I think the bots came back to me because I was... because I reset my jetpack. There we go. It's amazing, so cheating, so cheaty though, but I'm over caring and want my SE grid uh, grind to end without just cheating in items or infinity chests. Fair enough. Yeah, I love SE, but the, the amount of time it takes is beyond massive. Why do I actually want this, uh... Well, you know what, I think I'll make it a little bit easier on myself by removing the old rail first. As much as that'll be a little bit time-consuming. Made it so many mistakes that I have bottleneck... Uh, bottlenecks killing me in deep space science. It's time for infinity chests. Indeed. My favorite mistake of the last playthrough was... Um, it was with some other elements as well. Like, one after the other. But I designed Nacrotype processing in Editor... And then, only when I went to build it, realized, oh, um, 
This assumes four belts of Naquitite, which has a stack size of ten. Oops. Turns out that might be a, bit, a little bit tricky to move that quickly. Robolt Ethan, welcome, welcome. Should be doing that. Maybe place power first so you don't place them on the same row. Uh, I, I want to plan the whole thing um, before I go this time. I especially don't want the power poles lying around while we're trying to plan out the, the new poles. Uh, bottleneck. Let's let's design something. All right. So. So does this pretty much follow the same pattern? I think so. No. Hold on. This doesn't even use matter science pack. To Wait, this is the wrong recipe. That makes sense. Okay. 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 Where were we bringing in the coolant? Was this it? Probably. Oh, hold on. We got two fluids in, one fluid out. Is... Is matter a fluid? Or... I imagine it's a fluid. Um, where do I check? Yeah, matter. Just straight up matter. That's a fluid. Alright, well we're definitely not using quite the same shape here. Let's design it over here and then we'll figure out how we want it to look. So I definitely want these next to each other if this one's a prereq for this one. They both need sig data. This, they both need scrap as well. Interesting. So for solids... For solids, I can just, like, shift right, shift left on this. Um, and then move the broad catalogs from here to here. And that's basically it. Everything that's an input for this, other than the catalogs, is an input for this. Uh, that gives us three inputs, so... We'll probably need two belts. I don't know why I would sushi this. Can't think of an excuse. I could maybe do it right, ne right next to a train stop. Potentially. Um, but anyway... Let's just visualize what we need here. And we need uh, super cold. Maybe I could come in like this. We need 25 degree thermal fluid out. That input on that side. Hmm. Maybe they could share the output for the thermo fluid. Fluid in, fluid in, fluid in, fluid in, but then we've got like the negative 273 isn't on the same side. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, Tyranno. Fantastic. Fantastic. Morpheus, thank you very much for the 15 months. Thank you so much, and welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. Because sushi is yummy? Yeah, but it's literally just three items. Then again, like, how fast are we consuming these? I could do a novelty sushi input and output belt. How fast would these go without help? Um, wait, six per second. Uh, 
I don't know. Um, what if? What if? What if? What if? Oh, we could do other inputs here. Flow move fluid like this. Well, those wouldn't be connected. And then 25 out like this. It's pretty tidy. And then... We need SIG data, matter catalog, and scrap. And we need to leave room for junk data, broken card, and of course the science packs for output, maybe. So three outputs, or uh, four outputs, uh, and three inputs on the belt. Oh, two actually. Well, no, three, three, three. Three item sushi would be very compact. Now I want to leave room for the outputs as well. Um, so let's say we have our inputs up here. We need scrap. Sig data. Sig data. Uh, meta catalog. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this does need broad catalog, which doesn't actually come from here. Dub. Meta log. Meta catalog one. And meta catalog two. Seeforcat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. This seems like it's a two half belt plus catalog input. No, it's fine. It's just, it's such a small build anyway. Solburn, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. That emote is amazing. Um... So if I do like, let's say I just merge all these together. And then 50-50 them. So the inputs can use half the belt. You know, I just realized in this instance I could probably literally just do that. And we would end up with a consistent pattern. But it would have to loop back to a container. Because this ain't going to work, obviously. That's one way to do it, I guess. And I'm sure there's more than enough output on the other side of the belt for 22 a second. Of course, I haven't put any modules in it or anything. Zinda, thank you very much for the three months. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, so one of the reasons I would do that is because we can make it look cool with the train drop-off. Um, could we pick up all these things with a short train? I have a feeling we're going to go through a lot more scrap than other things. Ten scrap per second, or per recipe. Um, maybe I could just have a separate belt for the scrap, actually. Hmm. No, 
uh, I think, let, let's maybe do away with the sushi. Sadly. That really doesn't reach one more tile. Bruh. These two have Scrap and Sig Data in common. And then we could have like... Catalog 1, Catalog 2, basically. Does that even take from there? No, I don't think so. Nope. Uh, and then of course we need fluids. And we need matter science pack 1 to find its way across here. Or I could put these right next to each other. Oh, my bad, I was muted. Dogs are barking. You can sushi very easily in this case by measuring only the output of the end product and injecting one input item onto the belt only when something is outputted. Yes, I was muted. Uh, let me get back to what we were doing here. Bots have definitely recharged by now. And I think I need caffeine badly. Give me a sec. That's a little better. We're actually so close, to, except for like clearing all of this up. We're actually so close to finishing updating the last outpost, the last old outpost. So much infrastructure to support cargo rockets. Alright, so here's what I want, maybe. Let's see where this lines up. Yeah, it's kind of far away, actually. So how about... Front right over here? Um... I think if I put this here... Can't actually put that there, yeah, no. So we'll put it back this way. And 
give me those core fragments. Limit all of these. Different chests can actually be have the same settings copy and pasted with that. Why is this not connected? It seems like it works. No, that looks really weird, actually. That looks very weird. Let's not. And it's going to belt in here as well. No, it isn't. Yeah, I think we messed up somehow. That's obviously we. Not, not just me. This is all on you. Okay, that should be better. And limit. Uh, make sure we get all of those. And boing. Fantastic. All right, so now we just built this over here. And I want... Probably I want a train stop right about here as well. Oh, that's a... that's a good fit. Let's just decon this, and I'll shove it all into a chest when I get there. I'm not sure why the sound keeps stopping and starting when we do that. The burnt sound. What are those train loaders? The mod is called uh, Bulk Rail Loader. It's one big container with some invisible inserters built into it that'll take from or put into the train and also take from or put into nearby chests that you put right up to the corners. Solovix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh... Thanks, Johan. Sorry about the mud. Alright, let's drop that in there. And... Where's our power pole going to be? I haven't actually done this corner yet. There we go. Maybe a 45? Yeah, that should be good. This one? Oh, it all fits. Beautiful. Let me, let me start from this way for the power poles. And those should all be balanced, which they are. Very good. Let's 
get this coal turned into fuel as well. I will definitely remember that this time. Oops. Here's what I didn't remember. Why isn't ship C... Oh, I see. I'm removing all the bulk rail loaders because... They don't... Okay, like, in vanilla, if you have something like this... And copy-paste this these chests on top of here, the wires will get connected. Uh, the bulk rail loader has some weird behavior when it comes to, like, copy-pasting or cut-and-pasting or using the select new contents for blueprints. So if I don't remove all of those... Uh, then the wires won't get connected when I add them back in. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. That seems fine. Don't forget some signals. Which I feel like I have forgotten somewhere, but it probably doesn't even matter. Because the individual bore drills will have a throughput of two per second. That's ten, sec uh, ten seconds for a stack. And we need 2,000 to... Um, to trigger a train delivery. We're going to have three three long trains on each planet. Seems good, except for the part where I forgot the belt. Once we're fully done here, we can finally start dismantling cargo rockets, like all of them. Recycle all the old parts. That day will be a glorious one. How's Gibble doing for emptying itself, for example? Uh, is it waiting for the cargo to empty? I think it is. Where we used to drop off the sand and... Yes. Oh, I still didn't update that? Oh, no. Where was it? Don't do the wrong button this time. Double upgrade this. Um, and the train's waiting here for this constant trickle of stuff. Let's get our construction train over here. Okay. And could you stop for just a second? We'll use both sides of the belt. That should be way more than enough. I could make it purple. Why not? Why not? Let's get some more power over here. Oh, old power poles. There we go. That's going to be a little bit faster. Just, just a tad.
Cool, cool, cool. And I forgot to return construction train back. There we go. And let's go get that fuel that I said I wouldn't forget. I say, as we're just about to finish this, let's do that first. Get some power. Just a couple more poles. And... It's alive. Alive? There's a bit of rail missing right after this drill. Alright. Off we go. Where did I even put it? Oh, almost exactly where we need to fix the rail. Fantastic. Uh, and it stopped working because the output was full. Bravno. In that case... Um, let's get back to editing. What a mess. Okay. So, super cold is going to come from this direction. So are these two. Is it possible to do what I have in mind here? I'm thinking it would probably be best if we just have... A short cargo wagon to supply these. How many modules, etc., are we looking at for the other builds? Like, I'm pretty sure these are going to be way faster than the stuff that can supply them. It's like I was just going to cram speed modules into them. No beacon. Let's say we do that. Tier 3, I mean, we can always change it. It The numbers are still really small. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about throughput or anything. Like, not in terms of belts or pipes or anything like that. So... What if... What if we set these up for direct insertion from the one container? I wasn't even really expecting that to be possible. Can we then also have the same drop off fluids? I, I have my doubts. We could definitely do one of the drop-offs that way. One off. How many tiles is that? Seven, eight figures. Let's just do this, I guess. And then... Can we squeeze this through here somehow? I think that's a yes. And up here? If I put it... What, why do we keep jumping back? If I put them together like this, we could probably find room. Maybe. Or I could have, like, another station here. Or just to the right of the fluids. That might be a lot simpler. to a short train. And... 
maybe like that. Maybe like that. Seems good. So this would basically go here. And this one would have to it would have to go all the way up here to get out this way. Unless I brought the inserters back a bit. And then it would basically still be the same thing. This would allow us to get rid of this little piece of pipe. Alternatively, I, no, I don't want to do that. Mm, that's probably not the worst. Let's put a three in there. And I just noticed this is now one off. It's fine. That actually looks pretty tidy. All things considered, with the multiple fluid inputs. So all we need to bring here is scrap, sig data, broad catalog, and uh, tier one matter catalog. So that's four train loads of stuff. We can fit uh, six train loads of stuff. And a bit of change. So that shouldn't be a problem. We can do uh, 1.5 train loads each for the request. Short trains only. Ride stack, uh, request stack threshold 50. 30k for the fluids. Which is just going to be super cooled. When you switch surfaces, does your inventory also change in editor mode? Yes, it does. It's actually an option. Um, so go to settings, mod settings, per player tab, and it's testing lab under editor extensions. Um, and it'll tell you with this little tip right here that if you don't want to cheat, basically, you'll want sync inventory and cursor between play modes to be switched off. Read the words. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Nixbox, thank you for the following. So this is antimatter. And this is matter. And then we'll have output of 25 degree thermofluids somewhere. You know, I could probably... Nope, there's not quite room. Well, there sort of is. Yeah, that's why we don't use undo with that. I could probably have the one station drop off and pick up thermofluid. Uh, if there was a way to fit a connection to the fluid wagon here, which there isn't. Because the pipes can't connect. Maybe... Maybe if we changed these a bit. Like what I was about to do earlier. It doesn't ne necessarily have to be right next to the fluid wagon. It would take longer to load though. But at these rates, I'm not sure if we have to care. Oh, 
Oh. There's three sections of, uh... Hmm. There's, there's actually three sections of fluid wagon. Uh, three points at which the pump can connect. So we wouldn't be able to have, like, two connections like this. Hmm. It doesn't get better if I put them back together. Hmm. If I move these back like a tile... So we could have undergrounds through there. That would actually work. It would just slow down the drop off of matter. This is totally unnecessary, I'm just trying to be neat. Can I maybe do the thermo fluid? No. Okay, how fast do we go through thermo fluid though? 78 per second, that is quite slow. What if... Yeah, I actually have an idea here. Um... What if thermo fluid in, thermo fluid out, just like that? Can't fit this here. I think I can move that to one side. No. I would like it to line up to this anyway. Oh. How about this? That shouldn't look too bad. And then this can go up here. Does that actually fit? So, sort of. It's weird. Yuck. Yuck. Whatever, it's fine. And we'll have a request threshold of 30k. We can store 50k here. We're only going to ask for like 45. Or better yet, only 40. We'll request another 30k when we're down to 10. And provide threshold uh, is... 30,000? We're not going to drop off enough of anything to trigger that without a fluid, right? Oh, no, the negatives that we're going to have over here because we're requesting the items are going to cancel that out anyway. So we're looking for scrap. 1.5 train loads. Uh, I think that's 7,500. 50 times 150. Yep. And same thing for SIG data. Couple more zeros there. Not a couple more zeros, one more zero. Um, and then broad catalogs, matter catalogs, they're the same, right? It doesn't tell us the stack size. What? What the? What? What? Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, we can check just by summoning some catalogs right here. But I'm pretty sure they're 50. Yep.
Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, so negative 7,500. Both of those. Personal requests default to stack size as well, indeed. So those are the four things that we need dropped off. We're going to direct insert um, tier one matter science pack into this machine. And we're going to output both of them. Well, we're going to need a pickup for... We either need like three pickup stations or we need a smart loader. And we may as well do the thermofluid pickup where we pick up the junk and or broken data cards anyway. I think we'll just do... Okay, it's time to see how this fits in block. My time. So this would go here. We need some scaffolding plating to get started. That's going to go here. And... Why can't I place this here? Wait, why can I place them in that order but not that order? That's so weird. Uh, okay. I think... I, I was thinking we could do our pickup station here. Or at least one of them. I don't think we want to have short trains for picking up the junk and broken. Like, the builds that I've got probably insist on the double trains to drop those off anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we want to keep it balanced. Yeah, maybe it doesn't matter as long as we can always empty this. This place to signal at the right side. That makes sense. Because I'm pretty sure this never happened before. Top, bottom, bottom, top. Got it. Thank you. Andor Duracle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Aren't you requesting too much that 7,500 is for a long train? Uh, no. Oh, wait. No, you, you might be absolutely right. <laughs> the opposite of no. Uh, 50 times 150, 150 stacks is a long train and a half. Yes. So we need to cut this in half. Uh, 50 times 75, 3,750. Good call. Not too used to that. And stretch. Okay. So I want a couple of short pickups for two types of matter science pack. And a couple of long pickups for the junk and broken data cards. That's... I feel like that's going to be messy. Mm. 
Maybe it'll be a little bit tricky fitting it in half a block after all. I mean, there's no real reason to, but I just want to try. Can this fit over here? Probably. Pretty much definitely. Does that all line up? Yeah, it does. And then same thing on the opposite side. What? Uh, I guess I could have... I, I, I wonder if I could make these two face each other. Yeah, we can. Definitely. we really need to put them that close together it might make things a little bit difficult or squished and ugly but no we can't quite fit a train like that this does work though and this one can go up here I guess probably could have put these signals over here as well it's fine. Okay. Signal, 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 signal. And then we can literally just direct insert. Uh, or I could have a filtered space loader. We need a filter on this though. Uh, so this is Matter Science Pack 1. Oh, and this is two tiles away from this, and this is two tiles away from this. That's very neat. And we'll want something a little bit longer. For Matter Science Pack 2, is this it? Yeah. Top right train signal? Top right train signal. Was that the one we fixed earlier or something else? Um, we'll limit this to one cargo wagon, of course. Probably limit it to a lot more than that for a while. A lot less than that, rather. And what do we get more of? Junk data cards, I imagine? 4.8 per... Uh, 4.68 per second as opposed to 1.17... Now, where am I going to do the... Hmm. The outfits for these two. How about this? Junk data card and broken data card. Bring this over a little bit, perhaps. Actually, no. We can... Well, that should be f fine. Splitter. This will be broken. 
because I want to have the uh, thermal fluid, the 25 degree thermal fluid output down here. Yuck. We'll have to do. Or will it? I mean, yeah, kind of. It wouldn't look too bad, I suppose. this on this side and then push that from here to here limit the front and unlimit the back and set this to like divide stack threshold 100 and 60k fluids seems good so we don't need this nonsense, actually. Cool. Oh, is this uh, fluid wagon going to be straight enough to pick this up? I think it is, yeah. Probably. I can test it. Let's go for super locomotive, space fluid wagon, and put a bunch of fluid in here. And then go here, wait till full. What? Wrong one. Or they had the same name and it didn't, uh... It went for the nearest one. No, it's not connecting! Oh. What if I put this over here? Oh, it does connect. Hmm. Okay then. You want to be like that? Never mind, there is only one wagon. Okie dokie. Das ist gut. And I would love to squeeze this up here, but. This belt is a bit of a problem. I like these two being connected in the same way. What's the alternative? Not great either. I could, like, belt this here, and this here, and this over here. Does that... that also causes problems. Oh, what a world. Ravna. This build just does not want to be neat. Can't move that over a tile. No, I can. I can move it one to the left. But then... No, I can move it one to the right. Is that... That makes it worse, if anything. 
bro. Bro. Kind of works. It looks very spaghetti now. Yeah, it's not that bad. Does this fit? What about here? And limit this side. Same settings. Actually, this should be active provider. This is stuff we have to get rid of, or else other stuff will stop. And all of those settings should be fine. Forget the wire on this side. And this is Matter Sides Pack 1 Provider. And this is Matter Sides Pack 2 Provider. Cool, cool, cool. We don't need to do any smarts on this except for over here, where we will say if antimatter stream enable pump, and if matter enable pump. Also, we can probably put those together after all. Assuming this reaches, it does. Nice. Now, let me do some test inputs. We only need three things for these two, right? Three solids, that is. I'm just going to do set filters blacklist. It's actually four, which is fine, because we have four filters. Oh, that's cool. Science spins and goes beep beep and hums. Bassy hum. Perfection itself. Did I do the requests for the fluids? I did not. Uh, not these two anyway. Matter st stream? It's just matter. And anti matter stream. Actually, that can only fit 100k. Let's only ask for like. A refill when we're down to 10k. Wait, no, didn't I make this one cargo wagon? One fluid wagon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's request 40k. And set the request threshold to 30. So this is... Matter and antimatter requester goes into advanced research server. That comes matter science pack one and two. Fantastic. And then uh, this one's requesting cold thermofluid and all the solids. 
other than that, it's the same. Super cold time reflow, to be precise. Scrap. Sig data. Catalog 1. And catalog 2. Perfect. These two are already named. This one is 25 thermofluid and broken data card. And this one is just junk data card. Nice. And then we get rid of all the plating that we don't need. This is all working. No? We're not getting any particle. Oh, particle stream. That's not antimatter. Well, la di da. Get out of here, antimatter. Particle stream is cheaper than antimatter stream. That's good. I'm sure matter is a bit trickier to come by. Good thing we test. Now we're getting somewhere, but how was the first recipe made if we didn't make any matter science packs? Must have had a little bit of fluid left over from before. Why is the left assembler not working? Indeed. Where did we stop? No scrap. Oh. What? What? Uh, wait. What? Oh, I see. I, I see what you did there. Um. How about? We just don't with the Matter Science Pack 1 in this container. There we go. So that's working. You know, just for the consistency of it, I think put this over here. It's also going to look better with when we get rid of the plating. Probably. 14 tiles, that could be 7 and 7, but then it wouldn't line up with these. That looks pretty good. Alright, let's remove our test inputs. I didn't have any item destroyers for the outputs or anything. Nope. And then we're going to get some space. Uh, a little bit more space. There we go. And then we're going to add just a bit more plating so it looks deliberate. It's not too bad. This can probably go more like that. Uh, I don't know if I like that. I, what, what, no, 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 stop it, stop. That'll do. Why is the let? Wait, I thought chat moved. 
but apparently it didn't. I'm seeing things. Okay. And then that looks weird. Should we keep that? Little mouth. No, that looks kind of strange to me. That's not too bad. And then one, two. Actually looks kind of cool. Oh, I like that. Yes. Yes, indeed. All good? Chat moved this time, indeed. Alright, uh, let's blueprint. I think we're good now. I just realized I haven't reloaded the construction train. Um, so this is going to be Matter, Science Pack 1, Matter, Science Pack 2, Tiles, Train Stop Names, No Trains, Snap to Grid, 86251, 86251, and I probably should have checked if I had any cheat items remaining before doing that, because otherwise I would have had to redo this bit. But, no, we're fine. And we're just going to say matter science packs. Cool, cool, cool. Now then, placement. Oh, I almost forgot that we were still doing this. Um, let's go back to space. Maybe down here? I didn't really leave a whole lot of room to go elsewhere. That would allow the trains to pick up matter pack from here, go this way, uh, or rather this way, and then like that. And then same thing over here. It'll be a very short trip. Very neat and tidy. Alright, scaffolding train. I choose you. And construction train. I also choose you. It's going to take a little moment to get started. Are we already done loading this thing? Huh. That was quick. It's probably all we need. Maybe. Inactivity one minute. And it looks like construction train is still cycling. Get our bots balanced. We could probably do this now. Wait for inactivity. It'll cycle around and then load. It'll wait till it's fully loaded. Or at least as fully loaded as it's going to get. I forgot to give it some advanced... No, I did not. We've actually got them right here. Cool, cool, cool. So we should have everything. Nice. Uh, I forgot for a second. I have to wait until the scaffolding is placed. And then we can place the blueprint proper. Fantastic. 
I don't think the construction train is currently carrying solar panels because we ran out. Hopefully that is resolved. It is not. Um, maybe I should crank the priority on this one. I, I already have. It's priority 1000 and we don't have enough holmium plate. That's terrifying. Um, there's actually quite a lot of ingots here. As far as getting plate is concerned. I need to upgrade this build. I already designed it. It's just a pain to move all this stuff around. We can have one big space manufacturing between all four containers here so we don't have to worry about which direction this stuff flows it's going to take a little while just to turn these ingots into plate now how's our actual chromium ingot production going Ooh. Okay. It's not bad. Apparently there's just too much demand for it. Probably on the ground. Because we convert it to plate on the ground as well. I think I need to... Hmm. I was going to say I think I need to allow it to go to space as a priority. Which means staying as ingots. Um, I could easily do that. Let's set this to provide stack threshold 100. And limit the front to a smaller number. And then we'll just go red wires like so. Chromium ingot. Uh, needs to be greater than 5k. Or a little bit more than that even. Because we pick up like 24 at a time. Let's say 5050. Connect those two red wires. Yeah, a Holmium ingot throughput hasn't been bad. But you wouldn't know it just staring at the Holmium plate, uh, waiting to appear to make solar panels in orbit. Okay. That'll do for now. Let's get back to... Actually, I want to see if this got built. It did, except for the Holmium ingots and except for a little bit of rail over here. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, it's particle stream less than zero, because it's giving us a negative one signal. Also, this was supposed to be short trains only. Uh oh. Is that the only train trying to unload here? I think it is. We can probably just give it a Temp stop to move a little bit forward. Mm, it can't do that with the signals right now. Move a little bit. Oh, really? Marking these for deconstruction is supposed to. Hmm. I have another idea. Give it a temp stop up here. It'll actually swap directions. It'll swap which... Uh... No! Oh, man. It's going to be overfilled. Actually, isn't it bringing, like... 
No, it should be fine. That's a lot more than 40k, but there's room for it, at least. Okay, so this is less than zero, not greater than zero. It's greater than zero if the train is asking for fluid. Oh, 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 other, other mistake, other mistake. No, no. Well, there's your problem. I should have realized that sooner. Um, we have just barely enough room for the trains that were already scheduled here. Okay. Good to know we apparently have plenty of particle stream. Where do we even make that? Oh, that's a lot. That is at least 12 particle stream. Yeah, I think we're fine on particle stream for a while. Which is just as well, because this is one of the few builds that doesn't consume material testing packs too quickly. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And there's our matter science packs one. Uh, matter science pack ones. Looks like there's a little bit of pipe and belt missing. We need to make one more lap over here. Why? Why are we not loading stuff? At all. What? What's different about this time? It seems to think it's fully loaded. If construction bot equals 147. Oh, it's 144. Wait, what? Um. Oh. Okay. There were bots floating back, that's why. I didn't need to do that, and now it's going to reset. Oh no. It was actually working as intended. Let's go with... Matter Science Pack 1. Make one over here. I said over here. I said over here. No? There we go. And Matter Science Pack 2. I'll just put it here. It's actually like a pixel higher, isn't it? Perfect. It seems like the... Uh, well, first of all, that pipe is unnecessary. And the, the two belts that are missing are actually irrelevant. So, lucky us. Yeah, we're already up to 200. Um, so I think for the moment, I'll set our limit to like 200. And have a train come and pick it up. Once we get one stack. And we're now able to do research that includes matter science packs. Uh, which... Advanced tech card is not one of them, but we need those. Here we go. Matter fusion. It only costs 500. Let's do that. And then we can start thinking about... How to convert... How to pay tons of energy to convert stuff that we've got too much of to stuff that we need. And this is a higher tier version. We need Energy Science Pack 4 to be able to make the exotics. Which, uh, kinda... 
Yeah, I'm really not worried about any of these resources, so that doesn't actually accomplish much right now. But we may as well unlock it. What else did we need matter science packs for? Um, I know. Matter science pack. Matter science pack one. What do we got here? Naquim processing. That needs material four and astro four. Um, I think we need Bio 4 for Mining Prod 11. Not really worried about Mining Prod right now, to be honest. Uh, spaceship. We need the advanced tech cards for these. Yeah, there's surprisingly little to do. Now that we've unlocked Matter Science Pack 1 and nothing else for now. Hmm. That's honestly pretty surprising. And here it comes. And apparently we're missing something still. Energy 3, Astro 2, Matter 2, Material 2, Rocket Tech Cup? No, we've got those. We don't have Energy 3. Or Astro 3, for that matter. That's odd. We've got Energy 3 catalogs. We've got energy three output. What? Did we... Did, did we just finish... Cons Science hasn't moved in ages. Why is this... It would be a very big coincidence if we've got a very big resource bottleneck for this. And we just happen to look back here when it's working. That's really strange. Very strange indeed. Did a train just take them? Uh, yes. Yes, it did. Okay, then. Science is moving. Let's go. And then we'll need a new uh, train station off this way. Let me check that vulcanite core fragments are being consumed. Bracket V. E yes, very consistently now. Nice. Very consistently for the past more than an hour. That's what I want to see. That probably means that we've saturated our inputs up here for processing core fragments. No? In that case, it probably means... Uh, I think we only made one train to drop these off. It probably means it's able to keep, like, these two going. Almost exactly. And it keeps going for the nearest one has a train limit greater than zero. Do I still have that blueprint of... Was it this guy? I need to go and give it, like, uh, internals first. settings from that. Wish I didn't make them all ages away, but I wanted to make sure it wouldn't be in the way of anything. And there's our new train. I have to go back there first. All right.
right, so I'm thinking mark all that for decon. And we want a train coming straight up this way. Front right? Maybe like this. That looks pretty good. In fact, it doesn't get in the way of these containers at all. I'll just wait on that. Alright, so belt like so. And. Whoops, that's not how that works. And belt like so. Make a location pin for the mall? Uh, I did, but I didn't want to lose the copy paste of that, those train settings while I was dragging that around. Okay, yeah, I can I can go to either of the two malls with a button press. I don't know if the button press would have messed up the uh, the copy paste for the train settings, but switching to navsat does. All right, and then this goes up here. Oh, beautiful. Perfect fit. Perfection. Is that thing not feeding that thing anymore? No, it should be. Oh, it's not powered. Well, there's your problem. Beautiful. Let's get up there. And we're done, Ski. I think that leaves, um, like two stations that we haven't updated on this planet. I don't think we're ever going to need another planet for Vulcanite. Probably. Yimmy, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then... Since it's so close to this rail, we could just bring it up this way. Maybe I can do the exact same adjustment here. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's the same fit, I think. It's functionally the same anyway. What are the sizes of your save files? Uh, more than half a gig, I believe. It would have gone down after I trimmed some surfaces, but uh, I'm not sure. I haven't checked just how big it is right now. I do have, like, Nalvis that we've got fully explored as we wait for the beams to finish off the last of the biters, which they are getting close to. Uh, so once once the energy beams have finished clearing the biters on Nalvis, this whole thing will be able to trim back down to the bare minimum of... Uh, depending on like where the player-owned entities are, it'll do a rectangle. Daniel? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need another corner. Can 
cannot store a stone. Yeah, this is imbalanced somehow. I'll just rebalance it once it's drained. Actually, why wait? Even distro to the rescue. There we go. And there's going to be a little bit more in these ones because the belt is longer though. Where's our power pull? All the way down here. It's going to be too high. Let's just put it here. Oops. Also, get this coal out of here. Give me some fuel. Wait, how much more do I... Okay, okay. And rebalance it from here. That'll be close enough. Good, good, good. And I need to add some trains. Do I have... I need to go to the construction ship to grab that. I can go ahead and decon this old stuff now. Well, that's a lot of coal mine. That is also a lot of coal mine. I think I'll do some of that off stream. Um, but yeah, is that actually... No, there's one more. No? Hold up. How many drills do we have? Search for... for drill entity. We have 24. So number one is good. Number two is good. Number three is good. Four looks good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right scene, eight scene, eight scene, six scene. Zipsin, Baksin, Moitsin, Svansig, two, three, and four. Cool. Yeah, we did it. Now let's check that our trains. Well, first of all, I'll get rid of the old rail down here to make sure there's no confusion. Make sure I haven't made mistakes with the signals. We don't have any trains down this way. Good. Fantastic. And we can get rid of all of this. Wonderbar. Did I pick up the fuel thingy? I did not. All right. So that's totally separated now, except for this part. Nice. You should have already cleared. Never mind. I think they deconned the robo ports or the power in the wrong order. Um, but yeah, I think our train is probably up in orbit, waiting for a ship to pick up. Seems like one train is enough for now, but just to be consistent, and just so that we can test that our trains can get everywhere. And if any of them get stuck somewhere, there'll be a, a backup.
We only need like 30 of these, or 28, I think. 5, 10, 15, 20, 4, 9. Seems good. And plenty of batteries. Cool, cool, cool. Now we want... I think I have a blueprint for this over here that we can easily edit. I'll do them both before I change the schedules. Doop a doop. We finished researching the matter thing. The one that isn't going to help us very much because we are swimming in, well, maybe not rare metals, but mostly we're swimming in anything that isn't an exotic. Uh, what was I looking for? Some cargo wagons. So I forgot we need extra this time. All right. First wagon, good. Or rather, locomotive. Second locomotive, good. Third is good. And fourth is good. We should have plenty of charged power packs over here, which we do. Uh, and we need to update their schedule. So it's going to be... Grannis. Grannis down, Grannis up. And... that's it. Go through the three stackers, go to core fragment pickup, go up the elevator, refuel, drop off. Fantastic. Now, I should be able to control... To hold control and point at any one of these stations, and our train should be able to path there. It'll demonstrate that it can with the green line, the UI that we use to make temporary stops. Oh, found one. There's a bit of rail missing over here. Just a bit. That's probably all of it. Fantastic. All of this looks good. And there's another bit of rail missing up here. Where is it missing? There's one piece. Ugh. Okay. Okay, then. Where is it, though? Did I already place it? Not impossible. No, it is to the left. It's halfway between the corner and the next corner. Pick up that fuel for your backpack. The, uh, the refueler thing. Yes. Here we go. Good thing I checked. And there it is. We did it. There's still a bunch of old crap to clean up, but this this place is totally self-sufficient except for imports of uh, spellevator cables and media defense ammo now. 
Which means... Tell this guy to go pick up core fragments. We tell this guy to go pick up core fragments. And that's all there is to it. If our cargo rocket section production just disappeared, uh, the only thing that would go wrong is we're no longer sending temporary slash old stuff back from Gibil and maybe Granis. Although that does include a decent chunk of raw imasite for now. Oh, I forgot how much solid fuel would be over here. Alright, let's go back, because I need to... Wait, 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 where's the fuel thingy? Here it is. I need to go configure that uh, Vulcanite core fragment train. And maybe even add a third one. Um, up the spellevator we go. And back to base. Back to base. And orb. Fantastic. Alright. So how's our uh, new build looking? Oh, that's right, it totally works, I forgot. Hmm. I should probably make this a higher priority uh, drop-off because we very much want Scrap to come back here. Also, I'm a little surprised that Scrap did get delivered here. Um, because I thought I was taking it all down the elevator. Oh, that's right. We've got like a drop-off. Where is it? LTN drops scrap off here, and then the vanilla train takes scrap down the space elevator. This is fine. Especially if... I could just set this as like a lower priority. No, I... We need to get rid of scrap, always. I think uh, this one can have a higher priority instead. Cool, cool, cool. So how's those... Ingots. Ingot. Pulmonite. Yeah, it actually looks pretty consistent. So where's our bottleneck right now? I don't think it's bringing in core fragments if it's that consistent. Uh... I stand corrected? Really? That doesn't sound right. Hmm. Odd. Yeah, I think we need to spam more spaceships. Once we fix our train, we'll do that when we get back. Speaking of which, there's a spaceship out there missing, like, one piece of wall that isn't strictly necessary. Two space belts missing in that drop-off build. Yeah, the, uh... Whatchamacallit. Wait, do you mean this one? 
or the new build. Oh, this is fine. You mean this one? These two right here? We don't have the recipe for Meta Science Pack 2, so it's not that urgent. But yeah, I was waiting for the construction train to to be ready to come over here again. Did we get some solar panels? Nope. How close are we to getting some solar panels? Closer. We've got 2.5k. So we're halfway to having a train take ingots upstairs. Considering we were at zero-ish uh, last... Well, we were literally at zero ingots. It had consumed them all um, last time. Not terribly worried. I'm pretty sure we don't need Holmium Plate to make uh, directly to make um, Spellevator Cable, do we? What about the Holmium Cable, though? That's probably why I've been prioritizing this end. Yeah, we do have a lot of cable saved up. I, I don't think the demand is that severe. Maybe I could like 50-50 it. Just got here, no worries. Bungie bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, uh, we need some more. We need some more ships. Sad to say. Oh, I, I think we have to... I don't know if I've updated this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab... Oops. Let's grab one of our ships. Iron Hauler 20. Blueprint that. Oh, I didn't get the floors, did I? Including tiles. And... Pop that in here. Because there's some... There's a couple of updates that I don't think I've added to that blueprint. I don't necessarily want to override it yet. Build the whole thing. Very nice. And if I recall correctly... No, I didn't set this thing to auto-launch. Oh, I gave it a target plan. Um... That's probably fine. I think it's Beryl, where they try to go. What Ion Hauler are we up to now? This would be 23. Never imagined I'd need this many at this stage. We, ding we doing science again? Indeed. Almost done with the advanced tech cards. That'll be an interesting build. I might take a little break before that, though. I'm getting a little bit... ...ungood. Lightheaded, etc. Might have to make this one a little bit shorter. So it's put stuff on the memory cell. It's got the right destination. Maybe I could just make it send a launch signal as soon as it's got ion stream. Then again, there's really no need for it to automatically launch. Um, we have to manually build it in the first place. How many more do you think we need? 
I'm going to say five or more. So this is number two. And now we're up to 24. Three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 24, 25, 26, 27. We're going up to Iron Hall at 27. And there's stuff on the memory cell. Once it lands, it'll get given fuel anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Trains will have to deliver it one way or the other. Same goes for the water. Then again, the water takes a little bit longer to equalize at the other end. I could probably set this one a little higher so that... So that it doesn't take as long to get to the level where we don't have to put more water in at this end. I'm not entirely sure that made sense. Um, Alright, integrity check. And off you go on your merry little way. I believe that was number 24. Doop a doop. Fantastic. What should we research? We're definitely doing advanced tech cards next. As in, I need to do some builds for it. How many builds do I need for advanced tech cards? Shove all that stuff together. And that's it? Things that we've already got, except I have to, like... Probably produce pylons on the spot, or mass-produce them at the mall and ship them out. Also, blank tech cards. I don't think I have those in space. No, I do. I do. Good. So one, two, three, four, five, six solids, and uh, we might want to use the mall to spam the pylons. What does it take to make a pylon? Like, how many resources? Concrete. Aeroframe, pole, beryllium, holmium cable. Uh, concrete, aeroframe, pole, cable. I think it was holmium cable. And ber beryllium, or beryl. Beryl plate, I think it was. Okay, so we can... We could maybe bot this. So we're dropping off how many things? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can't fit all that in one container. I mean, not directly from a bulk rail unloader. So I think we do a little bot build and request everything. And just have one machine to make the pylons next to the machine to make the advanced tech cards. That should be pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, I think we're up to 25, right? Yes, I unhold 25. Good to go. And two more. Doesn't it need to put the first uranium cell manually? Uh-oh. I may have forgotten that. Um, 
that may be a very good point, actually. Palooza, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. V Vias Fora, thank you for the follow. Uh, this must be 26, right? I am all around 26. As I said, we're going to 27, and that's the second last one. Yes. We'll step through them all once, uh, once we've done the last one. That should be fine. And then once more with feeling. Are we out of floor? Not yet. Because we were mass producing it because we were going to put um, some whatchamacallisms, thermal, thermal something or others, uh, instead of lots, uh, thermodynamics facilities, instead of lots and lots of casting machines where we can't take advantage of productivity modules anyway on the ground, we're going to Save some UPS by having a bunch of really powerful individual machines. Vengeance. Iron Hauler 27. There we go. Make it an even 30? Sure. Wait, let's see how much uh, floor I've got left at this point. Or anything spaceship for that matter. We've got 2k floor. Oh yeah, we've still got these going. And apparently no shortage of materials. Um, It's mostly barrel, right? That's the bottleneck usually for spaceships. Or for floor, for where we were up to. Um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and fix the uranium on each of these. 27. In you go. 26. In you go. 25. In you go. 24. In you go. And 23, right? should have zero heat. There we go. And 22 is an old one, but a good one. It's currently bringing Vulcanite. Very cool. I still haven't updated so that we get the copper core fragments from the dispatch system. We've still got ye old Chimera slowly dragging them back and forth on solar powered ion thruster. Do your best, little ship. We're all counting on you. Alright, uh, what's next? I think I should probably take a break there. It's a bit hard to think at this point. Let's do some words on stream. First I'll trigger the old screensaver. Oh, and I didn't prepare words on stream earlier. Oops. Quit Chen, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't you need an initial cell in both of those reactors? Nope, they take turns. So that they don't... Uh, so that we've got enough heat capacity between the two reactors, enough storage to not overshoot. And... I mean, it would give us a bonus, so it would consume them more efficiently, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure... Going beyond 999 heat, we're probably wasting more that way. 
Zooming through uh, research, indeed. It's set up as a flip-flop. Yes, exactly. Alright. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Nice. One more? One more. Fantastic. Alright, let's continue with SEK2, shall we? GG, indeed. Alright, what do we got? We still have stone mines down here. Um, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. They lost... Oh, yeah, not... We, we don't have that much stone left. The map was not updated. Um, but yeah, because we're getting, like, stone core fragments, not to mention stone from every other type of core fragment, um, the stone mines are going to last a lot longer, but still. Now back to Factorio for the interlude? For the interlude? Alright, so we need, um... I could do it down here. Like, what else am I going to use this half block for? We need a bunch of solids dropped off. We need a little bot network. And we need, like, two machines. So I've missed a bunch of this playthrough. How do your haulers work? Oh, the, the spaceships? That is a complicated topic. Um, okay. Let's start with, like, the the high-level view, right? The, uh, the 10,000 foot view. Basically, all of our outposts report when they've got, like, core fragments available, slash when they would like a ship to come. Um, under certain circumstances, that signal is sent back to central dispatch. Uh, like, we have to have at least 9,000 core fragments, and it has to have been a certain amount of time since a ship was sent to the outpost. That's basically it, actually. Um, we also send a bunch, a list of a bunch of stuff that we want, um, and we subtract what we've already got. For like space elevator cables and other essentials. Uh, we use set set requests um, for all of our ship's chests. So we're able to bring the space elevator cables um, in this container uh, and come back with core fragments in it. Um, back at dispatch, we've got like um, we're listening all the time to the central dispatch channel. We've got a memory cell here, which, uh, well, this right here says something has to be greater than 9,000, so we have to have a lot of core fragments before we send something through. 
Uh, but what this little thing here does is it is a memory cell that remembers the first thing it's told and ignores everything else. So basically, what's the best layout to show this, how this works? Um, so this is the memory cell. It's got its input attached to its own output, so combinators take one tick to receive an input and then do something with it in output, but it takes no time at all for information to be sent across a wire. So this is the smallest circle you can get, um, where you can have information just going round and round and round in a circle. Uh, that's how a memory cell works in Factorio. So if R for reset equals zero output, everything input count. It's going to remember until it receives an R signal. Um, and over here what we've got is, let's see, what's the best angle? for this. Uh, if red signal equals zero, output everything. That goes straight to the memory cell. And at the same time, the green wire being the input for these two, uh, if anything is greater than zero, output one red signal, which goes straight to this guy. So one tick later, uh, he's not going to be outputting whatever it was that he received therefore so this is our this is our like pulse generator that can take negatives if it wants to um so it's basically a pulse generator which turns a constant signal into just one tick and then a memory cell uh that holds on to whatever it's got indefinitely and then it'll do that until it receives r and that's how we have a, a memory cell that just holds on to the first thing that it's told um, and ignores everything else that comes in until it receives an R signal. Um, so all of the uh, outposts take turns. That's why we've got this central timer, central clock. Uh, they all take turns to send information, if they're trying to send information, back to central so that we can send the same types of information like planet orbit number, without them getting jumbled up and added together. Um, and then whichever one gets through to this first, it stays on this memory cell. And then we wait to, res uh, to hear that there's a ship ready. Uh, and then we pass that information through to the drop off slash launcher for that ship. Uh, here we've got a bunch of conditions that the ship has to be fueled, etc. before we say that it's ready. This is a local memory cell that also holds onto that same information until the ship launches. And it's not until the ship launches that we send a reset signal back to uh, those two memory cells. Back to Factorio for the interlude. Now uh, let's get back to Factorio for the always lewd. Oh no. No TOS. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard to explain this system without getting into the weeds of it a bit. Um, obviously, there's a lot more I can tell you about how the loading and unloading works. But basically, the ship has to use buffer chests. Um, requester chests are the only ones that can take from buffer chests and buffer chests can take from storage chests. If we filter every storage chest, um, we can basically have... Uh, chests that the buffer chests can take from. And then... Uh, but the bots can, like, move from the active providers to the storage chests to the buffer chests, and then to the requester chests. That's actually the only way um, to get a path where we go through one, two, three, four chests. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've... 
gotten a little bit lost in the forest describing this thing. Um, any questions so far? Wait, does that mean only one ship can be loaded in Hagen at one time? Uh, basically, but it doesn't take very long. Like, at Hagen, we're only loading, like, a few spellevator cables, a little bit of ammo, maybe a battery pack, uh, maybe a uranium fuel cell. It takes the bots, like, five seconds, if that. Especially when they're adjusting from... We've already got enough stuff. What the hell is this? What the actual is this? I think it was this drop off, right? Indeed. Only one custom request can be done in Hagen at a time. Yeah, we basically have to launch the ships one by one. But you're never going to need that many spaceships that that's a problem. Alright, go on, get out of here. Uh, is this the... Yes, it is the Core Fragment Barrel drop-off. Fantastic. How many fragments fit in a ship? The smaller ships, 80,000-ish. The larger ships... Whoops. Um... It's... 81 times 48 times 20. We don't need to worry about leaving room for uranium fuel cells or anything like that in these ships. Uh, 77,760. And they go reasonably fast. And they have no power issues because their fuel is the power source. Um, so if it, if they've got fuel to move, they've got power to do everything else. Um, and they don't have to worry about water, not that that's been a problem. Um, don't have to worry about uranium fuel cells. Much higher density fuel. Just better all around. We've also got a nice symmetrical... Um, like, all of the containers that the bots need to access are close to the sides. This, uh, on, at the drop-off it's a bit different, but at the pickups, we've actually got two robot networks. Um, not just so that we can get away with a hundred bots without worrying about bots dying, but because the bots crossing from here to here is actually really inefficient. In fact, I wonder if doing this would have, like at the drop-off end, would have prevented some of those weird problems. It's not necessarily, but not impossible. Let me go jump back in that train of mine. Let's go home, James. And I won't jump into the editor until we actually get there, because I will pop out of the train wherever I decide to do that. Are we still making the superconductive? Yeah, I wonder if that's ever stopped. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Nine and a half hours without a dip. Just constantly making superconductive cable. And those two dips are relatively... Uh, quite brief, actually. So if we ignore those, it's almost 15 hours constantly making superconductive cable. Not bad. Have you launched your new haulets to planets yet? Yes. 
by um, just by launching them, because of the way I've got this set up, they will immediately be trying to land at, I think it's the barrel. Uh, yeah, it's probably the barrel drop-off. Um, but basically, once they do that, they're going to get reset just like any other drop-off ship. Do we have solar panels? We do not have solar panels. How does this take so long? We used to be able to take these for granted. Oh, what do we got? We are so close. We're just about to get some Holmium ingots brought upstairs. We've got, let's see, probably enough if we include these. Uh, but we've got 4k plus 1k. Yep, there it is. Train should be on its way. Oh, it's at a different... Oh. Oh. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> um, the vanilla scheduled train has been going to the old Holmium ingot production areas that I switched off. Um... Because the train stop name is the same. And... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about this? How about... We update those station names. And then we send you to the correct Holmium Ingot pickup. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It'll be good to spend a little time squirrel chasing. No! This is a zero squirrel channel. We never make mistakes. Everything proceeds smoothly. That's why we finished this run 200 hours ago. The third party LTN mod for the elevators works nice so far. That's good to hear. I am kind of glad that I took the challenge to do it without. But at the same time, there's so much infrastructure that I need to have to make this work. Uh, so many things where I need like a LTN drop off, vanilla schedule pickup, or vice versa. Um, not that I think this is costing us a lot of UPS just existing, but still. Yes, indeed. Uh, but yeah, I, I think we just saw Holmium ingots come up here, did we not? We did. Which means... Holmium plate? It's time for Holmium plate. It's making solar panels! What a glorious day. Okay. Um, let's do that build. So we want a drop-off. Should we do it with a two wagons or one? I could do... Uh, it depends, actually. Let's say we do two. There's plenty of space here, after all. The build's going to be pretty basic. Bulk rail unloader. And we're just going to put active provider chests like so. Bulk rail unloaders are going to automatically put stuff into those chests. We'll need a robopot. Round about here somewhere, as long as it doesn't clash with neighbors. If they had similar builds, it should be fine. We only need a depot for trains in the orbit T 
to deliver stuff from orbit station. Oh, we only need it for the LTN thing. Uh, we only need a depot for trains in or in the orbit to deliver stuff from orbit station A to B or from orbit to ground. I am confused. Is it the one called Space Exploration LTN Integration? I don't know. I haven't tried it. Ooh, this is symmetrical. But then we're dropping off like 11 things here. Where's that data card? Oh, no, we need an advanced uh, research server. That's not an advanced research server. Here it is. We don't need any fluids for this one. It's nice and easy. Um, but yeah, we need one, two, three, four, five, I think it was six, seven, eight, nine things to make this work. Dropped off. Whoops. Which means... You know, if we drop off 50 items uh, per delivery, per resource, we could only have six in the bulk rail unloaders. Unless I were to, like, push... Okay, this is a different idea. Um, how many do we need here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What if we kept all of these items in here... And everything we need for the pylon in here. Um, and we don't use bots. And we direct insert. So we can have 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 stacks, leaving 70 empty. We can have loaders like this with filters. So everything that makes a pylon is going to be on this filter. Chromium cable. Aeroframe pole, concrete, beryllium plate. Beryllium plate? Ber beryllium plate. There we go. Can you put prods into making advanced research cards? I don't believe so. Because uh, we can only make them in advanced research server, which only works in space. And I'm pretty sure we just can't put prods in these things, period. The only thing in space, as far as I know, that you can put prod modules in is the labs themselves. The LTN network on the ground delivers stuff to the orbit, uh, but not get stuff down or deliver stuff that a station in orbit supplies need an LTN network in orbit as well for that. Okay. Does SE change that? Because in basic K2 they work on the ground as well. Oh, these work on the ground? No way. No way, Jose. Advanced research server. No, cannot build on concrete or anything else for that matter. Okay, uh, so these four go here, and everything else. Bioscrubber, Immersium Gear. Uh, lithium Sulfur Battery. Space Platform Plating and Basic Tech Card. Uh, that... Did I say basic tech card? I said... I meant to say blank tech card. 
Oh, and we've got just enough filters to make this work. Uh, I meant to do that. It's fine. So how fast would this be with, like, just speed modules or something? 1.95 per second. Also, how fast is this? Like, 1.5 per second. I can always put a beacon, like, here. That's convenient. That's very convenient. Almost like I planned it or something. Tap snows. Um, and we can have a beacon here, because why not? Alright, so this would be way faster than we need, right? 2.55 advanced tech cards per second. It's actually not as fast as I thought it would be. Uh, my ultimate goal was like 3 per second. Oh, it's five times? No, I think... I, I think... Rate calculator probably takes that into account. Probably. Let's go... One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four, five. Because we need five different things in here, we're going to have to crudge through the mud a little bit. Do our test inputs. Scrubber. Oh, what was the next thing? Immersium gear. Uh, lithium sulfur battery, which I thought was up here, but no, I think it's down this way. Uh, space platform plating and blank. And then that should work. Wait, what? Why are you... Oh, you're supposed to have filters. You do have filters, but they're blacklisted. It's fine. It'll work. And then we can just set filters blacklist over here. Nice. So will the inserters keep up with this? Oh, what's our ratio between these two? Uh, kind of bad, actually. In fact, we would need three. Well, more than two. Uh, space assembly machines to keep up. So in that case... Why don't we just throw in a... Monster Manufactory, I mean Space Manufactory. That should be way more than enough. Sure, we can add some efficiency modules to that. Alright. So how fast do we actually get these... Tech cards. It says 2.5 per second. And I'm thinking that's not times 5. Yeah, that does not look like 15 per second. Oh, right. I forgot. We're going to have higher tier modules. Um, let's say we have speed 9s. And efficiency nines. I, I, I dare say we'll be able to reach like three per second without changing the layout. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Yep, that'll be more than enough. Cool, cool, cool. How could I forget? Um, efficiencies and a little bit of speed. That'll be fine for now. And there's no byproducts. We'll just do a pickup down here. Why not? What else are we going to use a quarter block for? Well, maybe something. Maybe I should do, like, the pickup over here. Especially if we're going to do a short train pickup. That's actually pretty convenient. Wait, do I want to... These are going straight into the labs, right? Yeah. So yes, I would like a short train for that. Yes. They don't get actually consumed by any recipe or anything. Nope. Fantastic. I guess Issy patches that. Indeed. Speed nines and prod nines are the best things to slice bread. Yes. Alright, that's uh that's pretty straightforward, pretty neat, pretty tidy. I can probably put this beacon over here for the look of it. There's actually a little breath of fresh air. Nice straightforward build. Kind of. Well, it was actually different though. Um it's actually the first time I've done a layout like this. Um, and we can probably get rid of the test inputs now. We know it works. So we need some space. And we need some... Some not space. Can't actually put it in like a hole here. No, let's just leave that as it is. And then... Something like this, and this, and this, and some plating over here, because why not? We don't need any signals here unless we add something over this side. Oh, we should probably have some signals here, though. I'll just double check that lines up correctly. And Fantastic. Okay. Normally we have the drop off up the top and the pick up down here, but whatever. This is fine. Advanced tech card. Provider. Drop trains and nothing else. And then... Don't need any fluids. Long trains only. Actually, I guess short trains would be allowed to drop off here. But I mean, if we have a provide stack threshold of... A request stack threshold of 100. How fast do we go through items here? Pretty slowly. Bio scrubbers are relatively precious. But no, it's not that bad. Quite a bit of holmium cable. That's faster than this go uh, This is asking for, though. We're asking for just over one per second. So, like... Uh, 
16 volume cable per second ish. That should be fine. And here we are requesting way too many things um, in order to make. Advanced tech card in an advanced... That's not the advanced tech card. Advanced tech card in the advanced research lab. Fantastic. How about I just put an everything signal here? Everything that goes into advanced tech card is dropped off here. Easy peasy. Now we actually have to do the requests. Um, Holmium cable, aeroframe pole... Actually, let me do the secondary ones down here. Aeroframe pole, concrete, and barrel plate. And then bioscrubber, immersium gear. Uh, space platform plating and blank tech. And then we just want, like, well, there's four things on this side, so we can fit a train load and a half. But there's, like, one, two, three, four, five things on this side, so 320 over five, 64 stacks each. Let's just call it 60 stacks each for these items. Uh, 50 times 60, 3,000. Will 100 stacks of everything fit? No, no it won't. Um, actually, wait a sec. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're supposed to have long trains drop this stuff off. Maybe. I'm pretty sure I can have short trains deliver all of this, though. Uh, if we have one, two, three, four, five hundred, potentially if we had four hundred items, we could we could completely block one of the inputs um, for the next train. Hmm. I also don't really want short trains dropping off here because rarely they will drop off used up um, uh, power, space train power packs. I suppose you need a buffer? Yeah, I'm wanting that to not be true. Unless I use, like, a little bit of the room on this side. So, no. That doesn't even work. Mm. I can have LTN deliver less than a full train load. And we don't consume very quickly here. We can try it. Long trains only, but we deliver 50 stacks at a time. It'll be an experiment. Um, and that's 6,000. 6,000. And 12,000. Hmm. I could also reduce the amount that we're asking for, for like blank tech cards. Because the stack size is so high. And our rate of consumption of them is well, not that high. But let's just try this for now. We're asking for 60 stacks of each of these. Even though we're using long trains. Wait, what? And... 
that worked out almost exactly the same. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Blueprint. Advanced tech card. And tiles, yes. Train stop names, yes. Snap to, don't worry about it. See how that goes. Just unlocked robots, how do I use them? Do they replace tracks? No, they have strengths and weaknesses. Um, compared to belts or train. That's one of the beautiful things about Factorio. There is no perfect build, there's always... Advantages and disadvantages and compromises. Okay. Um, where do we want to build this? Probably right here. Actually, what goes into the... I'm not entirely sure I care. Unless I have a quarter block like here, actually. Along with the space science packs, etc. I feel like that's kind of where this belongs. Can I put it there, or would I have to, like, mirror it or something? Um, it would have to go, like, this. No, that's what I had in mind. Yeah, that, that should be fine. All right, scaffolding train, on a guy, inactivity, and construction train. We're out of advanced research servers, probably because we're out of AI cores. Because AI cores, oh, quantum processors. The bottleneck shifted. Why don't we have quantum? Processes because we don't have Holmium. Oh, it's never enough Holmium. I think tomorrow we push that bottleneck aggressively. But also, it's probably got a lot to do with just the Holmium train was stuck for a long time. Yeah, for the last three hours, we've been producing it pretty consistently. Um... What about four fragment consumption? Yeah, that's sketchy as hell. We could absolutely do more to saturate our holmium. Which probably just means more spaceships because... Uh, because when we look at our holmium outposts... Oh, that reminds me. I need to add this to the shortcuts. Um, create new pin. All connect core fragments. Uh, what do I call these again? Just outpost pickup. How do I edit it? Right click. And no shortcut or anything like that. Um, but yeah, when we look at our Holmium pickups. They're completely saturated. So I think we just need more ships at this point. Do the biters evolve on their own, or only when pollution reaches a certain level? It's both. Um... I want to practice the Roboports in my current base without having them go berserk. So they know how to automate repairing the walls. Yeah, the, if you if the bots have access to repair packs in the robot network or in, like, logistic network storage, they'll automatic... construction bots will automatically repair anything that's within reach um, to build. And they'll replace destroyed buildings as well. Okay, um, 
that said, we do actually have... Oh, good. That's lucky. Advanced Research Server is literally the last thing that it tries to put into the train. Which means the train is fully loaded. Good, good, good. Let's drive... What? No. Let's drive over here. And wait for inactivity. And... Make sure we place our blueprint. There we go. Rabidus. Rabidus TV, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Is the trash train in Hagen orbit running non-stop? Uh, it shouldn't be. I've seen it arriving without cargo. This one? Mm, it's a little hard to tell right now. There's a train limit on all the return to mall stops, I think. It has to have more than 50 of something. Here it comes. Oh, and I need to do this train as well. It is empty. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Come back. Wait, which return to mall are you going to? This one. It's always this one, isn't it? If anything greater than 50, output 1L. Oh, set train limit. Well, there's your problem. Maybe I turned that off temporarily and forgot. Well, that was a fine waste of fuel. Good catch, thank you. Um, did we build this already? Except we didn't take a space manufacturing. Oh no, they're emptying. No, why are we emptying? Also might want to... Give it some modules back. These aren't actually supposed to be here. Also, also, give me 14 engines, 10 solars, and some batteries. And then we can finally set this train on its merry way. Fantastic. We'll see if that one's enough to shift the bottleneck. Can we finally load our train now? No, why are the bots imbalanced? There's more bots coming back, that's why. Why did they take so long? I'm gonna go catch them. And we need 49 bots in each cargo wagon. Whoop, no, whoop, okay, well, that, that works, I guess. That works. Meanwhile, have the trains been dropping off up here? They have. Uh, it brought exactly 6,000 with one delivery. Cool. It doesn't always have to be a full train. I mean, we knew that, but still. Oh, it's good to see Flat Solar's back. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Delicious. Wonderful. 
that means we'll be seeing uh, quantum processes again. Oh, right about now, actually. Or not? Oh, no. Is this what I think it is? Wait, why do you have holmium solenoids? Where, where did you get holmium sol- Your LTN! LTN is supposed to work! What? What did- get. Since when did we ever have any trouble with LTN this run? Uh, I have no idea how that happened. That's what's distressing about it. We're still waiting on the Holmium plate, though, which is what I thought was being delivered here. Oh, well. Let's get this build finished. Preferably before we all die of old age. Still waiting on space platform plating, which is here. Uh, we can have a short train pick this up. Don't know why it hasn't scheduled it already. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's picking it up from the mall. I, I guess that's fine. It's probably making an unnecessary trip, but still. And then we need lithium sulfur batteries. Why did we not build this just now? What? I think I can guess. Yep, it comes after the advanced research servers that we don't have. There we go. Alright. Take 17. Let the bots catch up. Actually, there are no bots to catch up, I think. Oh, I didn't have the train requesting modules? No, yes I did. Maybe not efficiency modules, because we didn't have any in this particular place for a while. Um, where did I even put them? Or where did the bots put them more accurately? Those are efficiency ones. Not really interested right now. Here we go. Uh, and I should have set this to ask for a stack of efficiencies as well. Dardano, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm amazed UPS hasn't tanked yet. We've been trimming away some old stuff, making things more efficient. Although I did just add like five more spaceships. Because spaceships are our bottleneck right now. Where's our lithium sulfur batteries? Uh, they just got picked up by something. Oh, they're being taken... Taken to make canisters, which we've got plenty of. I guess this wasn't just wasn't completely saturated yet. I like how this keeps tilting left and right even though everything's completely settled. Alright, alright, alright. Um, more to the point, can we get lithium sulfur batteries over here, please? Do we need more belts for those? No, it's... The belts don't have to push stuff to the front before LTN recognizes that they're available. Also, we can set the provide stack threshold lower. And just change the limit on this side to like 30 stacks or something. Provide stack threshold 100. 16,000 over 50. 
we've got a lot more than 100 stacks here. We just saw these get delivered, so... We don't know... Oop, let's update that station name first. Yeah, I don't know... Oh, are we short on trains? Is... is that it? We might be. I only see one cargo wagon here. Yeah, I totally forgot that that's something that was, like, on the back burner. Okay. I mean, it's not that urgent right now, but it definitely needs addressing. I'm going to borrow this guy, and I'm going to manually schedule it to take batteries, wait till full, and drop off over here, wait till empty. And when it goes back to the depot, it'll automatically reset its schedule, even though I made it myself. The batteries aren't requested? Really? Oh, you're joking. Ah, uh, I forgot we needed, like, one more thing on this side. <laughs> well. Oh no, I told it to bring a whole train load. Well, everything else is 60 stacks. It's probably fine. Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, okay. 60 stacks of... Was it 50? Yeah, so same as Bioscrubbers. k I can't believe I've done this. What I can believe, though, is we've already got 50 advanced tech cards. They stacked to 200, though. So it's going to take a little while to uh, trigger a delivery if we wait for that to fill up. But yeah, this, uh, this seems to be working quite nicely. That's not causing beacon sicknesses. Ooh. One tile off. Wait. I think there's actually no beacons on this end. Yeah, this uh, doesn't even have speed modules. It's kind of old. But probably still way more than we ever need. Just to make space belt. It does get consumed by science somewhere. Otherwise I wouldn't have built it like this. Oh. Is this where it gets consumed by science? Belt. Right click. Uh, it goes into loaders, splitters, underground, science, science. Yeah, two types of science. Okay. Your sulfur batteries is set up for short train on your tech card drop off is long train only. Uh, what do you mean? We're allowed short trains or long trains at this end. And we're only allowed long trains at the drop-off. LTN will sort that out. It's fine. Yeah, this is fine. Der der Twitch site. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And good catch, by the way. Did I miss the train already? I did. I'm pretty sure it already delivered. Advanced tech cards. There they are. Nice. Which means... Which means, which means, which means... We don't need any new types of sides for Power Armor Mark IV. Actually, I'm probably more excited about Thruster Suit Mark III. What do we get out of this? Um... Slightly better, like, well, not slightly better, probably much better damage reduction. Uh, inventory size bonus 50, grid size 12 by 12. And this one is 50, 10 by 10. Okay, so the power armor actually is significantly better. Um, 
Except for the whole not breathing in space thing. And I don't think the thruster suits have enough thrust built into them that having a smaller grid would turn out to be better. Even, you know, specifically for non-combat stuff. But, uh, that's the, that's the final tier of power armor. And we've got everything we need to make it. Let's unlock it. And then we'll do thruster suit mark three as well. We need deep space science three for the final thruster suit. Damn. And that is strictly better than power armor, except for probably the damage resistances. Nice. Went to bed and this madman is still on that Twitch grind, <laughs> indeed. What do you mean? The show must go on. Um, cool. I'm glad we got to finish. Oh, we've still got like 15 minutes. 12 minutes. I misread that. Uh, but I'm glad we got to finish on a positive note. Let's get some flat solars over here. We might even finish the research. Do we have a beacon? Yeah, we do. We've got prod sixes, which means we should already probably have... Probably by the time we could research this, we've got all the advanced tech cards we need. I could give it more speed and efficiency. We're actually doing like 4.6 megawatt for each lab, and it's probably a bit slower than it could be. But I'm not that fussed about it, to be honest. Already at 3%. Uh, what was I about to fix? I need the construction train. Place those solar panels. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's... That was a neat little build. It's not bad. It's actually out of Holmium cables. Everything is Holmium now. Alright, let's make some more spaceships. Maybe add another set of labs instead? No, we're already at 5%. It's material and more to the point going to the trouble of building things. That's our bottleneck. Until we get to the actual end game. Like literally just refining everything when we've got everything unlocked. Um, what was I going to do? Alzheimer's? COVID brain? Uh-oh. What did I come back to the mall for? There's our solar panels. Gonna make more ships. Yes, yes, yes. Good point. Thank you. We need maybe five more ships. Should hopefully push it over the edge. So we go from 22 to 32 um, on this session. Where are my ships? Here we go. Albion Line. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and go. And where are we up to? Iron Hauler 28. Good gravy. I really didn't want to have to spam ships this much before we get to the high-tech ships. But our UPS isn't that, that bad yet. Give me those uranium fuel cells. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and we need to do an integrity check. We need to start consuming the uranium fuel cells. And we need to launch to Hagen orbit and it'll be trying to land. I think it's at the barrel drop-off. Um... Maybe it's a different one, otherwise I think it would have landed by now. Holmium? 
That's a lot of Holmanite. Holy crap. Uh, I think we need more... Sh I think we need more trains. For Holmium. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I think uh, there's a distinct possibility. There's a distinct possibility that we actually need more trains moving the Holmanite downstairs. And we may indeed have enough spaceships already. More trains, indeed. Trouble is, it's hard for me to count how many we have for each type. Because if I click on one of the stations, one of the relevant stations, Holmanite Core Fragment Drop-Off. This shows me how many trains are on this side of the space elevator that have this train stop in their schedule. Uh, I don't know how many we've actually got. If I very rapidly go between these two, so apparently we've got three, including the one that I just made. That we haven't gotten started yet. Um, but if my timing was bad and a train went up the elevator or down the elevator right before, like right between, uh, I'm obviously going to have a an incorrect count. Need some more space. We've already got plenty of batteries. Here we go. I will make two more, though. We'll double it. Because... I don't know how long we've been that saturated on Holmium. Um, probably not that long. But... Wait. First of all... First of all... Oh! Is this our new bottleneck? Well, it certainly wouldn't hurt to have a, another train or two. But, um, consumption. I don't know how it spikes up like that. That's weird. But I think we need another block to process Holmium Core Fragments. I can't believe we've only got one at this point. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Trains with this stop too. Uh, I was looking for the number of, of stations with this name, actually. Well, I can always just search... Uh, let's see. Storage... Or fragment... Holmium. And we're looking for bulk rail unloaders. It's only these four. So we need to do another block like this. Uh, slightly different from this, because, yeah. Where should I put it? I want it to be relatively close to... No, I don't think it's as important that it's close to the, uh, the trains over here, because the Holmanite that comes out has a really bad stack size, just like the core fragments. Except the Holmanite moves a lot faster much higher throughput. I don't actually have a whole lot of places that make sense to put this in. Um, where's the block that consumes regular Holmanite? Oh, we do have... Holy crap. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. We already did this. There's one right here. I bet someone pointed that out already. There's a question mark over the northeast of the Hagen base? Question mark. Question mark? I don't know. Let me focus on this for a sec. Uh, we've actually already got a second block to pro to process Holmium core fragments. And it's not getting fragments. So that to me says we need more trains and or this number should be set lower. Like, uh, like that, maybe. Are we setting the train limit here? Yeah. Train limit one. 
Whole meme, core fragment, holmanite, less than 6k output, core fragment, holmanite, one. Oh, it is already less than 6k. And this one's not, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to lower the limit for how much we're asking for, and I'm going to add trains. So is this train number three or number four? I have forgotten already. Let's send it on its merry way. And try and get a count. Let's see. We've got two on this end. And... One on this end. It did not just come down the space elevator. So I think, I think I just made number three, right? It's the wrong one. Probably? Why is this one sitting in the depot? Did we already empty this? No? This side is very not empty. I think it's because there's a train limit of one on each side. And we're playing catch up now, but like... Yeah, let's make one more. And we may need to make new depots sooner rather than later. There is an upgrade or something like it in that area? What is there a black question mark? A black question mark? I don't think there is a, a black question mark. It would have been from this page. Do you mean this thing? Upgrade question. Oh, yeah, I think I vaguely remember that. Give me a sec. Okay, whoops. We now have four trains. I'm actually out of power packs over here. Uh, we now have four trains moving Holmanite core fragments downstairs. Oh, I think I know where that was. Like, this general direction? Uh... Upgrade question mark? Also, I want to add some, like, concrete over here. Stone brick, I guess. Do we have stone brick? We do. Because I'm never expecting... I'm never expecting a block that hasn't been paved to have a core fragment processing block at this point. Eastmost center, northeast side. Oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 we want more productivity bonus for our Imosite crystal, not to mention far fewer chemical plants. I think I'll go park myself next to that. It's time to finish up for today, but um, I'll stand around in front of those chemical plants so that we know exactly what we're doing tomorrow. 38% on Power Armor Mark IV. Very nice. Ian Noah, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's... Let me click on this. There we go. There we go. And wait for passenger present and... 15 seconds past. Cool, cool, cool. I'm so glad I made this taxi. Very convenient. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's leave ourselves a little reminder, shall we? Actually, I can do text plates, right? Up. Rain. Now. What? I could have sworn I counted. 
I, I counted poorly, apparently. The number of text plates I need. Okay. There we go. Let's save. Leave ourselves a little memento. Great stream. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for hanging out, Captain Troop. And everyone else. Who should we raid today? Hmm. I was looking for um Cyclo, but he doesn't seem to be on. Oh, I think he's I think he plays with Mucky but doesn't stream at this time, right? Take care, evil plot. Rocket Tom. Doxilos. Oh, there's a K2SE. It is a small stream. Let's see if the quality is okay, and we'll give him a chance. 720. Mm, I don't know. It's been a minute since I raided Mucky. Let's do that. Maybe so Soren? So Soren. Which one's that? Rare for art. I do not see anyone by that. Oh, yes, I do. Doing K2? Oh, good enough. Let's do that. All right. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. See you tomorrow, guys. Likely, it was... Transfer attack, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. We're currently looking for a body that died six minutes ago, I think. <laughs> Somewhere here. Ignore the, the montage of death. But welcome. How goes the raiders? <laughs>